Today is the biggest day ever. That's right. I'm gonna get my 100th win in Toy Tower Defense. Oh, Blaze, how have you played this game for six months and still don't have 100 wins yet? Shut up, okay? We're gonna do it today. So I thought it'd be fun if we all went and reminisce over my past experiences and all my time playing Toy Tower Defense to get to 100 wins. We'll see my different voices, all the different units I had, all the different maps along the way. So let's go ahead and enjoy it together. If you guys are new around here, we are trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So do consider dropping a subscribe on the channel. So I'm going to do that really quick because so far this is going really, 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 really bad. So I'm going to do this really quick so we can get some coins because I don't think we'll be able to do it any other way. But so far, no one's strategies has worked. Everyone's been really mean to me so far. So for all those people that watch trade videos, they're all lying to you. Oh no, I, I don't have troops equipped. Oh no, this is bad. So we lose. We lo I didn't uh, uh, restart. <clears throat> okay, restart. Uh, we're going to restart really quick. Like we're gonna redo toilet city uh, i guess the scam strategy didn't really work the telanthric strategy didn't work but i really thought it was going to speaker man down it's like placing dart monkeys and balloons tower events baby watch me do this D -d -d am i am i taking leak da i'm t okay i'm gonna take leak damage immediately wow wowzy wowzy wubsy wubbers wowzers trousers lemon flowers that's inc that's incredible that's incredible. We, we are already doing incredibly bad uh, in, a, in a way that they couldn't even attack the toilet. So that is probably why uh, you are going to take leak damage so early. Hopeless, you literal idiot buffoon. My God. Dance like an Egyptian. Bro, we just have a line of these speaker vans actually going pop, 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 pop on these spider toilets, dude. It's kind of funny to watch. Pop, 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 pop. I feel like this is probably the last wave, but obviously I'm not 100% sure. Oh, we got the boss toilet. Holy crap. All right, he's coming down the line. All right, expect to sell troops. Like, as soon as it gets out of range, you got to sell like this, right? And then you have to go down here, do that, do this. I'm doing everything in my power to stop this man. He's going to get through, dude. He's going to get through. Ah, it's appearing like maybe just a speaker van isn't enough to take down the big boy boss. Unfortunately, I placed these down so late. Okay, maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance. We just have to work super freaking quick, dude. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Come on. Click faster. Click faster. Click faster. Okay, come on. Come on. There's an outside, outside chance. Outside chance. Come on. Come on, hopeless. Place like you've never placed before. Place like you've never placed before. Dude. Is this going to be enough? This is our last ditch effort. This is our literal last ditch effort. If there's any chance we have of beating this, it's now. It's literally now or never. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Yes. Yes. We did it. We did it. That was so close. That was so close and intense and stressful for no reason. I haven't watched any videos, tips, or strategies on that. I just went straight in. You know which doing this, like having multiple troops, makes this so much easier. <laughs> but don't forget, I'm not done with the uh the video I made yesterday. The what I summon is what I use. I am not done with that. My plan for that video is I'm going to summon three more uh four more troops. And basically, each troop I upgrade like each troop I summon, I then have to attack that game mode again. So I basically will have the unit I summoned yesterday in that video, and I'll get one more. I'll basically make it until I can get to Nightmare by summoning, but only summoning once a day. So I think that could be a fun little thing that we do. Uh, a, a cute little... Okay, too many of, uh, of that. So now we gotta... Okay, too many troops, period. We have too many troops, period. Everything, everything's placed. This is the best that we can do. This is officially the best that we can do. So we have taken zero leaks so far, and our boys are absolutely mowing down without any delays. And I read some of your guys' comments on the video yesterday. You guys were telling me that you think the reason why it wasn't working is in fact because my basically my troops were too bad. I wasn't doing enough damage. So we got the vacuum toilets again, which were major, major problems for us yesterday. But the Titan cameramans, I think, chip away at the vacuum toilets health, which is what we needed so terribly bad. We needed it so terribly bad. But they're got yeah, oh they're, they're, how many of them are here? How many Titan cameramans are here? Oh my god, do you guys see this? There's so many stacked on each other. Holy crap, dude. Oh my gosh. 
and the mutant toilets yeah this is where we started lagging out pretty bad yesterday dude they're taking care of the mutant toilets like it's not even a big deal man i highly underrated the camera helicopter this might be my favorite unit honestly 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 i mean that look they just stay here and they go pew pew while they're just coming back there if you guys have not done this strategy do it it is excessively good like what is it look 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 this guy is just shooting them as they're going that is amazing they're yeah they're and they do 2,000 damage per second that's better than most of these units that's so good that's so good they didn't even get to them yet they just mowed them down that fast this is the last wave by the way this is literally the last wave and we are taking care of business we are so taking care of business holy smokes drop however many boss toilets you want i don't think it's gonna matter i really don't think it is okay the boss toilet might pose some threats some threats some threats do you mean threats Bro, hopeless hello okay well, let's see if we can take down the boss toilet by ourselves I, I i should have i should repeat this i am in fact doing it by myself but the biggest strategy that we have to do and keep in mind here is selling units selling units is a major strategy a major player that i feel like a lot of a lot of people do not oh it's it's gone the boss the boss is gone I, I i looked away for a second and he disappeared that is why these summoning troops are so good it just takes like they run into him it just takes the rest of that damage away and then boom boom i defeated toilet city on medium mode like that that is literally all it took my guy holy smokes man any chance is there any chance we survive this how much is that spider toilet doing is it more than 20 there's a chance do these all do yeah we're dead yeah that's it that's that's it. We made it. So oh. <gasps> no, 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 no. Spawn, spawn, spawn. Oh. Did we do it? Oh, my God. He clutched it. He, he clutched it. He managed to clutch it up. He clutched it up for the... Oh, wait. That's way too much. Oh, no. And they got a rocket toilet. No, this is the end, isn't it? Oh, no. This is the end, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> you know what, guys? I really thought... I really thought we had it in at this time. But... The Toilet HQ really did a number on us. The Toilet HQ is what made a difference. The Toilet HQ is what made a difference. Well, guys, I'm walking away with my head held a little bit low. Let's see if we can get a dark speak in here. One time on the one, two. Of course, we can't. I I'm leaving on a disappointing note. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, now we can just kind of hashtag handle everything. We can just kind of hashtag handle everything. Everything's good. Everything's gravy in the baby, my little babies. That's all there is to it. We do take a little bit of a leakuation. Leakuation. But that's okay. Sometimes you have to take a little bit of a leakuation to then succeed for it. Did he just teleport back? I swear to God, I just watched from instant transmission that. Either way, it's feeling like we got things pretty steadily grounded here at the moment. But I'll come back if things start to get juicy again. Our speaker spider spawn camping units right now. They're coming past them, and you're just like, mm, no. Yeah, that doesn't look like a leak we can take. How much is that? Yeah, it's a lot of leak. Yeah. There we go. Boom. Boom. Leak control. Leak control. Ninja cameraman. He is leak control. He's ninja cameraman. Okay. We, we were, uh, oh, no. Can Hey, can you handle that? Oh, no. We can't handle it. Oh, we might be. We might be okay. We might be okay. We might be okay. I thought it was all Jover, but it might not be all Jover. Yeah, we still got 180 left. Okay, okay. Hey, Ninja Cameraman, can you handle that, please, good sir? Good sir. Can you handle all those units? I know it's kind of a lot to ask of one unit. Yeah. Oh my. Hey. Hey. It's almost like this is all completely calculated. This was so not calculated, and we're able to get our speaker spider up. But is he up enough to, like, handle boss toilet mode? Ugh, that's the real question. Like, would, would have been placing down our upgraded Titan cameraman, would that have been, like, I don't know, better than upgrading our speaker spider again? I feel like, yeah. I feel like, yes. Especially considering that, I don't know, the boss toilets are mm, coming out of the range now. <gasps> yeah, I, I did a couple, uh, yeah, I did a couple thousand damage. That's so bad. The best I can do is hope I get 1,500 money. Yeah, I'm not going to get 1,500 monies. Not even close to getting 1,500 monies. Yeah, that's going to be it. <laughs> this is easily going to be it for us. It's not even freaking close. It's not even... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Later. Later. En enjoy Toilet City. Enjoy Toilet City. Please keep it clean for me. Please.
please keep it clean for me okay so gamers obviously i wasn't able to beat hard mode uh some of you guys might be saying hopeless that's because you're bad but let me know if you can make a halloween team that actually is capable of beating cameraman hq on hard mode or nightmare mode however we are getting in this great tv man skin by the way that's fantastic we're in the video with the summon that's what we always do y'all know the vibes go ahead and give me a legendary or mythic really quick sweet thank you that's exactly oh, oh my god that was vile exactly what i was looking for and i'll see you guys again tomorrow uh, yeah yeah oh hey spin the wheel spin that wheel baby girl spin that wheel all right can we upgrade our unit uh, we can't uh, no we can't okay no that's awesome i was yeah i was hoping for that that's actually exactly yeah so we can't upgrade our units until maybe wave 16 though. that's fantastic news it's amazing news at least we got our upgrade type yeah yeah, yeah. so here's a leak you we got ourselves a leakuation. Watch out for Sonic X. You gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. You gotta go faster, faster, ba 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 faster. Wing, wing. Zoom in at the speed of sound. The fastest hedgehog around. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you guys find that entertaining? Also. What's going on here? This is all because I can't upgrade my units. I'm, I'm confident in it. All because I can't upgrade my units. My mans. What the flip? All right. You know what? You know what? If we need to speed up the process and we can't upgrade our units, you know what we do? Camera spider. Camera spider. Camera spider. And you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you guys with something I you guys didn't see coming. Camera spook. I know y'all weren't ready for that one. <laughs> there we go. No upgrades. No upgrades. But, but, a lot of units down, which isn't effective. But this is, this is the strategy. I mean, this is the game. The game's the game's the game. The game's the game's the game is what I... You know, people keep burping my videos, guys, and it's just gross. That was weird. I don't know why y'all did that. That was out of pocket, out of left field, out of left field. Y'all did not need to do it like that. Mm -mm. Nope. Oh my gosh, the wheel's been up like this the entire time. Hashtag, I just posted it. So yeah, we're gonna have auto skip off for a second, so we can hopefully, you know, actually take care of the good 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 Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, they're speeding up now. They're speeding up. This is good news. That means things are starting to go a little bit more normally. Uh, I can't really do much right now because I can't upgrade my unit, so I'm just gonna place down another one, right? That just... I guess that's the plan because you can't really what are they doing what are these what are they doing they're bobbing and weaving on the track i've never seen that before what are they doing bro <laughs> i've never seen that before that was hilarious oh my gosh we have enough money to upgrade our units Wait, what is he doing if only we could like i don't know upgrade units right now i'm gonna get to the unit limit so bad <laughs> uh, i regret this challenge I'm just randomly placing down <laughs> spider units now, bro. Oh my gosh, this is a terrible idea. Should I just place down more? I think they're, they're kind of funny to watch. To some degree, they're funny to watch. Imagine I lose after all this. Like, I went through all this pain, suffering, and agony just to still lose. Now, that would actually be a real tragedy. <laughs> all right, we'll skip wave. I think we're chilling now. I think we're chilling. Those look like they're going normal speed. But we'll keep auto skip off though, regardless. But dude, look at how much bands I have. I have so many bands, but I can't use them. I can't use my bands right now. All I can do is just place more units. I lost! How did I lose? I, I did what? What? Are you kidding? I actually just went through all that pain and suffering. I just went through all that pain and suffering. I'm a little speechless right now. No, I actually... I actually cannot believe that I just went through that pain, suffering, and agony. Oh my god. Downside or downfall here is going to be their attack speed. But thank goodness, thanks to the new unit, the glitch cameraman, we will be able to compensate for that. Looks like I might have needed to do it a little bit earlier, though, if I'm not mistaken here. Might need to place a leak unit here. Yeah. We got a. I call this our leak unit. Our leak unit that stops things from killing me because there's a lot that's leaking right now. That's why there's a lot leaking, bro. There's so much leaking. 
Okay. I don't skip only on. Like, ah, I feel like this ah, I feel like this is hard. I feel like you can't do that. I think we need to turn auto skip off, honestly, actually. Like, I, I don't want to. I want to be as time efficient as possible. But right now, the game's lagging. I think we might need to. Like, actually. I lost? I lost. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, my gosh. I lost. Well, guys, I hate to break it to you, but Stout does with the legitimately effect. My mic cut out for this part of the video, but oh, oh my god, the airplane's coming, the airplane's coming. Oh my god, hopeless, we need to make sure we kill that plane. Uh, 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 the plane, it's all a part of my plan. Oh god, yep, okay, it killed us. Hopeless, how could you let this happen to me? That airplane toilet flew in and completely murked my swamp. Faster and easier to get units, but I guess the fact that they don't is what makes trading so valuable still and still a unique thing to do to trade. Also, in these videos, I feel like I usually clear my guilty conscience or I release what I think's been on my mind or if something's been bothering me, I'll kind of say it on these videos to get a little bit of clarification for my actions. And my question is today, is how much gum is too much gum? Because I'm sure you guys hear the gum smell smacking ASMR a lot of times when I'm recording these videos and I'm I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna I'm gonna come clean I'm gonna get it off my chest I chew an outrageous amount of gum I smack hard I go through a pack and I mean pack of gum a day yesterday I bought 40 pieces of trident gum I now have zero pieces of trident gum left obviously that's too much gum that's way too much freaking gum but but where's the line where's the line where did where did too much come into play that's what I need, and that's what I expect you to tell me. I also wonder if I'm ever gonna get a Spider TV too. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the day for that to happen. Speaking of which, I, I'm sure I'm gonna finish off this wave without any problems. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go get some more gum. I'll be right back. I don't know why I say I'm gonna be right back. It's not a live stream. You guys, it's gonna cut. The video, like, I'm gonna cut this out. Hello, this is Editing Hope here. And per, upon request, I did in fact cut this out. So currently, Hopeless is grabbing more gum. While I'm having to edit the stupid idiot's video. Why do you guys watch these videos? What does he do? What do I do that's important? I'm just kidding. I think my videos are actually entertaining. Oh, he's coming back. All right, I'm back. Hopefully I cut that part out. Wave 50 with <clears throat> How fast do we take care of a boss 3.0? I'm curious. Did they make him a little bit stronger? They also are releasing a new mode in this game. I know that much, but <coughs> I don't know how strong or hard it is compared to hard mode. It was boss mode 4.0, so it makes me think it's somewhere between Nightmare and Hardy. Probably like, I don't know, expert mode or something like that. Michael, please don't leave me here. Michael. All right, let's do one last summon for good luck. Oh, oh, not to do their damage at. Oh my gosh, you have a lot of monies, don't you, good sir? <laughs> the Sinisters are getting slept so fast. Oh my gosh, they're literally doing nothing. They're not trying to. I, I promise, I promise you they're trying to work hard. <laughs> they're, try they're trying to work hard. They're trying to put in the time, the hours, just like everyone else. I promise you. Oh, uh, it's so nice having farm units in all of my accounts seriously why why is the uts so much taller than the utc i find that hard to believe i feel like that's cap i believe this is my last utc i can place yeah can't upgrade anymore or can't place down anymore which is fine because that's where we usually end up selling the back farm units Plus, we don't even have this boy fully upgraded yet, I believe, right? Do that. All right, guys, watch this chain reaction. Then we go over here, upgrade him. You're already maxed, so then we do a sinister here. And then we go down to the middle. Yeah, literally. And if one of them was running a camera medic, it would just go that much that much flawlesser. And then, boom, I come back to here. I think you guys got the strategy. It's pretty flawless. I highly recommend doing this. If I need to make a video, once again, on how to use Roblox Manager, I'll do it. I really don't mind. I think it, the main benefit of it is literally AFKing. I think I made I made like 4,000 coins last night just when I was going to bed. But since we did hit 10k, in, or, like, in honor of me celebrating and, and, you know, being happy and excited that we actually managed, you know, hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel, I went ahead and splurged and spent some Robux. So a good amount of my second accounts now, now have a luck boost, which is so awesome. I haven't been paying attention to what's going on at all. I don't know if there's any new toilets or anything like that there could be and i literally would would have no idea <laughs> uh is that bad 
facial animation unavailable. Please try leaving and rejoining. I don't want to do that. That scares me. Does anyone play with that on? I really do not like that feature at all. I think it's kind of weird. If you play with it on, totally fine, acceptable. You know, that's that's your own choice. I don't know. Just for me, it gives me a weird feeling. Also, check this out. Look at this row of sinisters. How many max sinisters do we have? <laughs> nine? Nine max sinisters? The secret mythic unit? I mean, it really is the amount of DPS it does. That was a lot of rocket throws, by the way. How many of those are going to get through? Like, any? Oh, that's L. Oh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> this is where our main defenses are. Dude, they're literally going to think, like, these, these toilets, when they come through, they're going to be like, oh, yeah. All right, we made it through the first strongest wave. All right, let's go. And they're going to, like, see this and be like, oh, my god you know that rocket toilet made it farther than i expected the last time i did this it made it farther than the boss 3.0 so yeah once again i guess if you do the strategy highly recommend that you have good units available like i should definitely get a mythic on this unit like if i got a cinema man on this account mm, that'd be so good that'd be so heat the max sinister does 4,000 damage okay sounds about right how much does the max uts do though by the way i think i realized why i don't have that much energy i'm pretty sure i'm tired 4800 with 0.4 cooldown. Oh my god, the Sinister's better. The, si it, the Sinister is better, basically. Yeah, I think it has a higher damage per second. Craziness. Top 10 things you didn't expect to find out today. All right, wave 49, guys. It's wave 49. I can't wait to see how many coins we get. This is actually gonna be crazy. Imagine if I start doing this on five accounts. Oh, that's gonna be so freaking broken. Because that is something I can legitimately do, I think. You probably would just have to get the Scientist TV man on all of them, realistically. How do I not have max? How do, how do I actually not have ma my max you, like units down? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight. I, pff, beyond me, clearly. You can't do anymore. All right. Oh, it's way 50. Oh, it's way 50. Okay, the boss toilet 3.0. Are we going to be able to kill you with relative ease, or is it going to be difficult? Actually, you know, I just realized keeping the, the max units up here is actually probably better. Oh, the sinisters. Never mind. The sinisters are good. <laughs> the sinisters are so good. That was barely the mythics doing that was all sinisterness those sinisters got and they're like swimmer okay place your bets now does the unit get past this line i'll give someone 100 robux if a unit gets past this line okay i'll keep my mouse there let's pay attention i don't think it's possible if anything does it's gonna be the flying rocket launcher toilet but i don't i don't think it's gonna happen no it'd be the multi clutch yeah it's gonna get melted dude some of those uts's over there okay i think i can move it some of those uts's weren't even moving on it like that boss was barely gonna make it down this way before they absolutely get got okay the thing is i don't really want to waste my coin boost so i'm gonna try to be fast here so bang okay so i got 13 1360 unit or units coins so multiply that by three that's like over that's over four thousand i appreciate that i don't know exactly what i did but i'm glad i did something you know what i mean um, if I can positively influence your guys' days at all, I'm happy. You're not wrong, dude. Like, I didn't I didn't have that much faith in myself uh, when starting this. Um, but real talk, though. Um, I actually do a lot to... Uh, do you know I have four sisters? I didn't know that, Blue Star. Um, legit, if you guys like Bimmy Blocks, he... Uh, like, no joke. No joke. Like, actual no troll. If it wasn't for him... Uh, this channel wouldn't exist. That's real. Uh, I've never been noticed. I got you, Evan. We die here. That rocket would absolutely like blast through that, right? Yeah. <sighs> GG's. Wave 15 is our max, bruh. Wave 15 is the max. Holy crap. Alright. I made it to wave 23. You need agent. What should, I, what should I put it in for? Yeah, we we had the godly down too. Watch Godzilla should No! <laughs> I was playing, bro. I, mean, I guess I can get rid of medic. Right? For secret. Send link so I can join again. I'm probably gonna end. I need to make a video.
shields up front. Dude, what is happening? We are so good right now. Why are we so good? Why? This is insanity. Yes, keep the shield bashers coming. Are you are you kidding? Why would we not have our SEAL Team 6 of shield bashers? You have too many troops. You must sell one first. No, I don't want to. I mean, I'll sell one of the ones like right here, I feel like because I feel like this is like a better spot to have right here. Do that. Okay. The, we can sell probably this scientist uh, TV man because we don't really need the money and it's not really much of a block unit for us anyways. So we can get rid of it there. Go ahead and drop this shield bash here. Yeah. So the only reason why the uh, scientist cameramen are good here is because they stall or like like delay the units a little bit. <laughs> Please kill him. I don't want to lose. 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 Oh, nice now, which really isn't that much time. I got my feet a little bit wet and enjoyed my time while I was here. You know, I, I had a little bit of fun. I had a good time. We'll have to wait and see. If you're still watching this video right now, I'm actually excited to tell you that I've started the process of doing my own toy tower defense. No, well, I, I, well, sorry. Let me rephrase. My own tower defense. I'm not. I'm not making my own toy tower defense. I, I, I don't want to bet. There's already toy tower defense. We love toy towers. But I have a really good idea planned. It was actually conceptualized by Bemi Blocks. Fun fact. This was in fact Bemi Blocks' idea, and we were gonna be partners on it. But my boy's a little bit too busy. You know, literally being the best toy tower defense creator, best Roblox creator you've ever seen. Fastest Roblox creator at literally 1,000 subscribers. He's insane. I love him. Regardless of that, we're going to continue on with the project. And I can't wait to see the finished Rota. We're working hard now. We have a team of five of us. And pretty, pretty cool. I'll reveal more as more comes out. But just know, your boy's cooking right now. I'm, oh, hello. I'm cooking. Okay, dude. Artichokey. I got three max UTCs down. So far, my units have been doing everything, including going to absolute downtown on these toilets. Can I, can I get this guy in here, please? Why, why did this boy not place? Hello? There we go. Why was he not placing? Why, why did it take my boy so long to decide finally place? How did a glitch make it that deep onto the track? I don't even understand anymore. Either way, we probably got this in the bag. I'll see you when the round's almost over. All right, I'm back to it, boss. Final wave, final mission, final time. Finally time to murk turkey and get those Christmas units that we've been looking for. Those juicy, juicy Christmas new season units that we want so bad. Everything is going delectable, delightfully. Nah, the script couldn't have been wrote better, so many people say. Hopeless. Yes. It's time for you to get the new season units. I know. Did I just have an external dialogue with you guys? What just happened there? I will say, I, I always watch these units come down, and it just blows my mind. The sheer amount of D, like DPS that we're able to do in such a short amount of time. Like 4.175 million health. And we're just sucking him dry before he even barely goes down the conveyor belt. Like, you could probably have given him 12 million and I would have been able to kill him. It's insanity. It's genuine insanity. My boy barely made it anywhere. He's just, he's just dead dead he's just dead well you know what i didn't notice right away me getting any christmas food did i not get any was i lied to oh well it looks like i was lied to well let me at least see if i got anything out of this turkey crate i hate everything lies this is my most genuine passion i don't think there's anything else in this world that i want more than being a good content creator for you guys or you know to keep making content that you know that maybe one day my kids watch or you know i i have cousins i have younger siblings have them be proud uh, or i, I want to be the guy where my kid goes to school and can say yeah my dad's a youtuber frankly i i hope that can be me but i guess time will only tell and the script will continue to write itself i do think that hopeless me has all the skills to make it i guess we'll just have to wait and see if i do okay so we did kind of mess up just a teeny tiny weensy little bit here i only could place my utc behind the track which i have lost before because of this but that was when i was controlling five accounts at once so i'm hoping by having my utc behind the track doesn't completely screw us over but i guess we don't know for sure yet so we're gonna have to, to wait and see here as the time on the clock of the turkey town is dwindling down 
I've been recording for 45 minutes already, by the way. I know you guys watching probably don't care, but that's just insane to me. I don't feel like I have had the record button going for that long, but apparently I have. Sometimes you guys have to understand and appreciate how long these videos actually take me to make. It's not a short amount of time. Wave 50 is about to begin. We have all of our units placed that we need down to succeed. All I'm praying for is this time when I get that turkey crate, I finally get some Something other than the t like, turkey speaker man. I have gotten so many of him. I don't need more. I need something else. Give me the chef. Give me the chef. I think at this point in time, I've opened at least 10 units. Or not, not 10 units. 10 crates. 10 crates. And I've basically only gotten two of the same things every single time. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this time can maybe, just maybe, be different. I think I'm at max, max troops here. Yeah, I'm at max troops, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll get away with this one just fine oh yeah everything's going perfectly according to plan the giant turkey is gonna go down the massive buff saw oven's gonna go down before he can even touch this utc right right uh oh uh oh no that utc almost got baked in the oven he almost got baked but not quite man that one was still hitting him for that long this utc is not gonna stop relenting on him the range on this one's so good he's just slowly ticking down ticking away at his health whoa he's trying to be my shield doesn't matter and um bye see you later alligator and of course we're gonna end this off by opening that turkey crate please please give me something different all right let's see what we're gonna get okay a turkey camera that's a little bit better but man, i still hate everything this i think the strategy is now is whenever it becomes necessary sell the scientist farmer sci scientist farmers am i even here right now my brain isn't even functioning okay that is a lot of rocket toilets that's an absurd seen amount of rocket toilets a ufo toilet coming down oh this this scientist wall is going down for sure it held up strong we got our second max utc down vunda ba sell and i think we just add to the madness right here that seems like such a bad placement though does it not? I don't even know where I need to place down this UTC. I think my best strategy actually would be to just place down more shield cameraman. Being able to deflect back damage is huge, and I think that's what we need more of. I mean, I guess a uh, UTC placement somewhere in this region wouldn't be the worst thing that I've ever done, but I'm not proud of it. It's it's not something I'm super... Yeah, that is, that is a lot of toilets coming down. That's a lot. A lot. A lot. It makes me think that the shield cameramen are obviously good. They're great. Yeah, yeah, our first... Our first scientist tv man wall is down that's not very poggers but he is gonna have plenty of time to place up another wall yeah you know this this isn't hitting like the turkey town strategy you know like, like when i was doing the turkey town strategy it was like nothing was getting close everything was getting melted by five shield camera boys uh they might be struggling uh they might be slightly a part of the struggle bus this time around i don't know if they're lacking artillery i think their placements are just bad it seems like the shield cameramen i've placed over here are doing a lot better than the things i have placed here regardless it is it is wave 50 now so this is when push goes to shove there's still things coming out our scientist TV men are truly going to get put to the absolute test right now. We'll max out a shield cameraman here, and we're going to sell all of these when they become essentially useless. Once these are out of range, we're going to place all these down in front of here and basically be our last layer of defense, our last cushion. Yeah, that's a lot of toilets. That is so many toilets. Do we have the damage to hashtag handle this? I don't, I don't really think so. Yeah, yeah, just that, just that helicopter is making me question if we have it in us too many units did i not just sell one i guess we're just gonna place down a utc and hope for the best these claw toilets are taking their sweet time right here and i i couldn't thank them anymore i genuinely could not be more appreciative in this situation okay you know what the utcs are figuring things out how is this claw toilet still here he is just locked on to those shield camera he has a vendetta against these shield cameramen honestly okay sell this sell this sell this you want him here you want him here and then you probably want this guy here and then upgrade him as much as you can okay scientist tv man do your bidding sell sell place you here take all the damage you want shield you are my shield is this gonna work it really doesn't feel like it should this feels like the most lackluster attempt you could possibly like ragdoll together but we're making do yeah we're, we're making it work right now do we handle these massive buzzsaws he just blew through that scientist tv man like it was going out of style yeah so far everything is is looking good i think we actually might be able to do this. 
not in a traditionally good way, but you know, it, it it's working. Place down you, and then I guess place down you. That's the best you can do. All right, here we go. It's the last stretch. We're 19 minutes in. Let's see if we're able to wipe out the scientist toilet. In essence, this is a grade A team of units. If this doesn't kill half damage on the scientist toilet, I don't know what would. Oh yeah, it's not even close. You could have quadrupled his health, and it still wouldn't have been close. Hopeless one to lantern development beat nightmare difficulty award huh huh have i never beaten nightmare mode still to this day have i seriously been making toilet tower defense content for three months and still not be nightmare mode oh my gosh i'm the problem come back i am gonna sell one pumpkin farmer down though because i want to place one shield cameraman down like one extra one that is wave 50 sell Vundaba. and now is when we really have to pay attention we have to pay attention like crazy here as soon as we see the final turkey crate summon that's when we go on our other accounts and have them join back which is now no 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 yes 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 i think that was that was four yeses right i think so okay i really hope everything doesn't come crashing down again because last time it did for some weird reason last time this is literally when everything went crashing and burning for us but i couldn't tell you why i i genuinely have no idea why we did everything the same we did everything correctly but we're looking good nothing's leaking right now is every account in this poison hopeless bots in we even got hopeless stand in the cut and hopeless 2 is here as well we're looking a freaking amazing all right all we gotta do is take down the giant turkey toilet which it looks like we're gonna do with flying colors here and then we're gonna get five turkey turkey crates completely for free in only 18 and a half minutes and not to mention a bunch of free coins for fun because why not why not get a bunch of free coins as well and i have a coin boost chef's kiss and there we go 2800 coins this is no joke the best coin farming strategy there is i just got 2800 coins and a turkey crate in 18 minutes so you're telling me if i just did this three times in an hour with my friends every single time i could get 15 turkey crates and over 3,000 coins count me in take my card all right we head back to the lobby have all these boys go back to the lobby as well yeah 2,000 coins across the board you'll love to see it i think the only problem is, is these are all in different uh we're all in different worlds right now however let's go out units and we got the juicy turkey crate all right you know what we're gonna go ahead and open it on hopeless helper most of the time our luck is always terrible but today i feel like it's gonna be different especially on hopeless helper hey you know what we'll take that that's actually good i don't hate everything make sure you guys like and subscribe that's a W. Oh, oh, wait, no, those are my arms. Parkour. We got our second UTC down. That's how you know you're really balling out. Time to check on these guys. Are you still good and good, helpless helper? Yeah. I've never heard him speak before. That was so strange. Upgrade that boy down again. And then turn around and place down our friend again. This gets easier as we go. The end result is always known. I will say the one thing that's super nice about doing Turkey Town, especially with this strategy, is if you wanted to, you could kind of AFK this. Obviously, you need to pay attention somewhat. But once you get all your shield cameramen down, you don't need to pay that much attention. You can be a little lackadaisical and still get by just fine. All just for some good unit. The scientist toilet has nothing on me. Your big brain just got flushed down the drain. Do you guys like my little nursery rhyme? I came up with myself. You guys should make that your ringtone forever your mom calls you. I'm sure she'd love it. And that, and if I'm not mistaken, that would have been the last UTC we put down. But we sell this boy first. And now we really don't need to place any more units if you place any more utcs or any other units than that you don't really need that five pumpkin farmers five shield toilets five max utcs yep that's all you really need it doesn't get much better than this folks at the end of the day as soon as wave 50 starts there's really nothing wrong with coming over here and selling all these units you can it doesn't hurt but at the same time you don't really need to but like i said you can it gives you that little bit of extra security but we put our eyes over here and as soon as you see that turkey toilet come out of the conveyor belt you immediately like that boom as soon as that guy comes out you rejoin the match on all of your accounts this is where the little trick comes in and we look over here to make sure they all join back and just like that they are all here boing boing boing
boing and boing wunderbar and as you can see we got that 1.5 coin multiplier down in the left hand corner just for the laughs and kicks and the giant turkey toilet is getting absolutely decimated all in 18 minutes question mark all in 18 minutes and we get 2,000 coins from that if you really wanted to you could splash down a two times coin multiplier and if you did that you would get 2,800 coins for beating this man with your friends it might even be 3,000 you do this three times in an hour that's 50,000 coins an hour that's insane now that you got all your coins on your accounts you can go ahead and head back to the lobby and now that we have all these crates and coins why would we stop ourselves from using them i'm gonna open all these crates right now to show you how easy it is to get a mythic uni and obviously we now have 10,000 coins between all of the accounts so we could have our crack at spinning here 11 times if we went over there and grinded that for an hour we could do it 30 times or if we all had double coin boost we could do it 50 times after only one hour if that doesn't guarantee you a mythic or a godly i don't know what will sometimes all it takes is a matter of time this is literally just the fastest way of doing it you could not do it faster if you tried either way let's get that mythic time to open our first turkey crate in Bad. and turkey cameraman that's okay we have plenty more where that came from turkey crate number two turkey speaker man not the greatest thing we're hoping for better all right we have two turkey crates here open that boy up in turkey speaker man i'm gonna need a little bit better than that blaze that all right come on i'm getting a little nervous give me something good turkey cameraman okay we're working our way up the ladder okay hopeless stan do me good give me the goods not quite stop giving me the turkey speaker man i don't need more let's go ahead and try our luck one last time here we go and in bop just kidding i still have two more turkey cray what is this number six turkey speaker man okay that wasn't great that wasn't great this is the last turkey crate that i have in my inventory let's see if we can get that money yet not quite dang it but as you guys can see that is a fantastic way of getting a mythic unit for free honestly that strategy might even be faster than just grinding for coins and summoning here but obviously now you know all my ticks and obviously now you know all my tips and tricks about how to summon your first mythic or godly unit for free wait hopeless you said you were gonna trade i know what i said don't you worry about that let me go dip my toe in the water people always get mad at me for when i don't read chat before making trades and i'm not starting today all right what can i get for a mythic what kind of units can i give up to get myself a mythic unit okay he has a brain cells to figure out how to beat this map dude you can literally be setting a personal world record right now See, that is a mutant toilet 2.0, but not in my house. See, that's a mutant. Oh, wait. That's just the normal mutant toilet, and that's the mutant toilet 2.0. Ah, I figured it out because I'm so intellectually smart. We're going to go ahead and place down five shield cameramen. That just seems like a good idea. All right, that UFO coming down looks pretty strong. I really hope we're able to take it out. So far, we have not needed the scientist TV man, which is good news. But the real question is... Can I fit a UTC in here? No. Can I fit a UTC here? No. I saw green. Uh <laughs> we're gonna place our utc down here i feel like this is a perfect spot to place utcs they could not have made it more perfect for me this is amazing do you guys not agree that this is literally the best spot for a utc he's slotted in and now he's also gonna be protected <laughs> so far we are doing so good we also have not turned auto skip off once at all and we're only 10 minutes in. we're exactly 10 minutes minutes in so far if everything goes according to my calculations i think we'll be able to get out of here just fine all right what do we got coming down the belt we got a giant glasses toilet mutant toilets we got some rockets and we got a boss toilet 3.0 i'm not worried about that i'm not i'm not worried do you guys hear that do you guys hear that yeah that's why bone shaking i'm not scared because i'm terrified okay, i feel a little bit better i do have a max utc down second utc has been placed and everything seems to be dying pretty accordingly my little skeleton brain is still trying to rack together if it's a good or bad idea to use a scientist tv man i don't know Yozik... <laughs> those explosive toilets can do whatever they want they can do their literal worst they're not killing me dude so this map definitely moves a little bit faster than turkey town but is it fast enough to be able to do it in 15 minutes dude that'd be sick you could crank out these maps like it's going out a 
of style. I also never even pointed out, this map has two spawns. I'm always, I, I'm always and always, always, always have been a fan of maps that have two spawns. In my opinion, it just progresses the game faster. That's probably why this is going faster than Turkey Town. Well, because Turkey Town technically had two spawn points, but not really. Let's be honest. I don't like how far those infected Titan speaker men are making it down my conveyor belt. I think we need to do something about that. Another upgraded Titan cable man goes down. Okay, boss. That is a lot of boss toilet 2.0. What the heck? That is a lot of frost toilet. Dude, and there are a bunch of tiny little ice cubes. I feel like you go into your refrigerator, pressing the ice machine, and these are the things that come out. Talandrix, what have you been up to, buddy? What the flip? What are these? Oh, I know what that is. Never mind. The helicopter one's confusing me. Though. Oh, they all have helicopter propellers. Am I blind? I think I'm blind. Oh, wait. I don't have eyeballs. I forgot. I'm a skeleton. I'm a skeleton, guys. Of course I can't see. But so far, the strategy seems like it's working pretty flawlessly. We took out a Boss Toy at 3.0. I'm expecting a scientist soon. Uh, honestly, I am. What is that? Oh, never mind. That is a dual buzzsaw toilet car. I keep feeling like I'm seeing things that are new, but they're just not. I'm just, I'm just blind and stupid. Okay, at what point is a scientist TV man a good idea? I'm going to do it just for the heck of it. Small scientist toilet. Okay. Don't really like that very much. Yeah, placing the scientist TV man down here could be the greatest and genius idea that I ever had or the biggest throw I could have possibly have done. Yeah, we'll max it out. Like, there's no reason not to. All right, I now have too many units. I'm gonna wait till wave 47 and then I'm gonna sell one singular pumpkin farmer. Oh, he's stunned right now. There we go. Gotta place down a UTC here. It's like a UTC sandwich. This one's not gonna be nearly as effective though as these because these guys get, uh, get these toilets that come through and they're like small bubble range. Okay, wave 48. Should I feel confident right now? Good, confident, bad, mid, fantastic, the worst I've ever felt? I don't know. Tell me how I'm supposed to feel. Please, I need to know the emotions that I'm supposed to be feeling right now. All right, it's wave 50. Okay, now that it's wave 50, I'll need to pay attention to when the boss comes out because that's when I'm going to need to have my other accounts rejoin. So if you do get a new unit, I think that's him. I think that's him. Okay, there we go. Sell this, sell that, sell this, sell that. Okay, what is this boss's name? What is he? What is that? Oh my gosh. That is the Frost, Frost Skeleton Toilet. Okay, we got Mr. Frost Skeleton Toilet in the cut. Something light. Will you wake up? I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm literally the panic placing stuff now is this calm good enough to win i have no idea two sciences toilets stuck on each other i want to sell my pumpkin farmer please okay the boss is still down there which i guess is a good thing i i will not be able to sell this unit i they, they are not gonna let me sell him no way oh there's another one over here i didn't even know that okay we'll place out another utc hopefully kill that quad rocket mutant toilet soon there's a double claw here not too fond of that we got all of the boys in the cut as well okay we have this small little stretch to kill the frost skeleton toilet okay yeah he's halfway down yeah no we beat it we beat it easy easy mode dude let's freaking go let's go dude okay so for beating the map it looks like i got 2,000 experience and 200 total gifts but i don't think you get a free crate for beating the map anymore that seems true right yeah 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 okay i didn't get a free crate for beating the map which does does kind of suck, but I guess that's the name of the game. Okay, I get 100 presents. Nice. 100 coins. Nice. And I got a free coin boost. And at tier 5, I'll get a fr two free Santa crates. And apparently, I'm, I'm, I'm three gifts away from having enough to open a crate. So guys, at any capacity, it definitely seems like this season is going to be an absolute grind fest. A grind fest. Oh no. Oh <laughs> Oh no. Well, at least we know what to expect for now. Either way, I really. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Missions, missions. Don't forget about the missions. Did I beat any? I did. Okay. Good, good. Okay, no, that's good. How many. Okay, I can get. And just for beating the map one time, I was able to get five Santa crates. Are you kidding me? Oh my. Hap. Just kidding. He got absolutely decimated. Just like my hopes and dreams of me still not being a toy tower defense partner. Can you guys stop sunning my Santa, please? Thank you. Thank you. Sold Santa Claus for another elf woman. 
Now, if that's not progressive, I don't know what is. All right, we now have nine elf camera women and six reindeer cameramen. I can't place down any more units if I wanted to. So let's see if the new epic and legendary are enough on their own to beat the new North Pole map. On auto skip too. Oh, things are starting to get a little bit deep. See that dual blind, blind. That dual flying buzzsaw toilet is a problem. We're having a lot more big toilets toilet units come down oh no it definitely looks like wave 40 is going to be the test of our units here all right man all right men buckle up put on your big boy belt try your best to succeed i really hope this strategy works if this strategy works then i'll be able to run all my accounts at the same time and get a bunch of christmas crates for you guys and max out the christmas tier pass pretty freaking fast okay we handled a boss with 3.0 pretty good it still makes me worried about a scientist tv man though not a scientist tv man a scientist toilet a science science you know what i'm talking about you know i gotta give it up for these new crates so far they seriously are kicking butt look at how much money i have this has been without farm units, by the way. I haven't even been making money from them because I sold them all. Okay, there's a small scientist toilet. Is that gonna murder me? Is that gonna rip my face off? Probably. And this looks like our demise. This looks like our doom is going to be imminent. And it wasn't the scientist toilet. It was the small version of it. Barely. Just barely. Wave 47. Dang. Ouch. That's so close. It hurts. We can feel the pain pain searing in your heart. Ah. Ow. Well, if you get your hands on the new Christmas units, that's how far you can make it with these. However, that doesn't go for the big new godly unit. Speaking of which, let me just su let me just summon him really quick. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think so. Let me try one more time. Really? Okay. Yep. I hate everything. Super easy to just trade over units anytime I want. It's just by doing it this way, I'm able to kill two birds with one stone. Basically, I'm saying I'm able to beat the map way faster. Our Titan Cinema Man is starting to run into some problems. It's evident to me that not having the Shield Cameraman is well kind of a massive problem especially when your strongest unit is just getting stunned and just like that i lost on hopeless helper so just like that it's pretty clear to me that i'm gonna need an upgrade on that other account but what possibly could i do to upgrade those units and my answer to that question is by trading or you could simply just do all these one by one if you only have access to good units on one account which ultimately will get you to complete the new pass way faster so much faster if you're able to do it the way i'm talking talking about frankly i don't think the units i have on this account are good enough either well let me just get a chef really quick <laughs> that would have been insane if i summoned a chef oh my god i would have got i would have been so happy yeah i just realized it's hard to tell when this guy is sleeping or stunned because he's sleeping all the time that's not really fair how am i supposed to know it's really too it's way too hard to see those ezz's bro i guess i can't get that mad at him for sleeping on the job i literally upgrade him to sleep look at that dude going <laughs> Like, wake up, bro. If bro wasn't sleeping, he'd be making me hand over fist. I'd be the most richest Toy Tower Events player there ever was. I'm waiting for that new boss to come around, and I still have a little bit of a bone to pick with him. No pun intended. Get it? Because I'm a little skeleton boy. She was a skater boy kidding hey how's it how's it going man you uh been here often first first time no this isn't this isn't my first time no actually i've been around quite a bit I, i'm i'm actually a pretty veteran toy tower defense player yeah no i actually have hit all the requirements to become uh, a partner in this game they just uh, haven't gave it to me yeah i really appreciate you telling me your concerns about that yeah i also think the devs of toy tower defense should give me partner as well thanks paul the snowman we love you i love you paul you're so handsome <coughs> I don't know what that was. What are the chances I could climb this candy cane? All right, everyone place, your, everyone place your bets down below. If I'm gonna guess that I can't climb it, if I can't climb this candy cane pole, then one of you guys has to become a channel member. Oh my God, I can't climb it. No, <laughs> I can actually climb the candy cane. Well, top 10 things that I did not expect. You can actually climb the candy canes. Well, this is a bird's eye view if I've ever seen one. 
What? Did you guys know you could climb these candy canes? Well, if you did it before, you know now. I, I guess that means I owe one of you guys a channel membership. Next time I go live on my live on my mama, everything holy, I will give you guys a membership. Whenever the next time I go live, that is. Hey, good news. We're on wave 50. Show me the bouse. Where is your bouse, bouse? Oh, that's so cute. Look at the boss toy 3.0. He thinks he's gonna live. Oh, I'm just kidding. You're dead. Do you think all of these units, not units, toilets, do you think they all think they have a chance at living? Do you think that they are under the impression that they will not get sacrificed by my units? Do you not think that they know that they are going to be slaughtered? That they'll never make it past my- Yo, what happened to Hopeless? Hopeless, you changed, bro. Hopeless, you changed. What can I say? I'm a cloudless goblin. And here's the man of the hour, the frost skeleton toilet. Some people say his bones are so brittle that with a single lighting of a match, you could burn his legs to smithereens. But he can still crash down his hammer so hard that you feel earthquakes across the globe. <laughs> Why'd you do that to me, dude? Hey, guys, show no mercy. Murder this guy. You think you're strong, but you're not strong enough to withstand the power of my max turret tower units. Why is the quad rocket behind the frost skeleton toilet? I don't understand. I'm a little nervous, though. Why Why does he have 3 million health and he's so, so close to the end? Oh, pfft. They just focus on the- What was that? Did, is that the ban hammer? Did, did he just try to ban my units? Oh my god. No, not today. Nuh -uh. A frost skeleton toilet. I mean, what it feels like to rot in the depths of the underworld. <laughs> this got a little bit morbid. I forgot. We're trying to pee fast as fast as we can. Hey, yo, guys, if you don't mind, would you guys uh, mind taking care of the claw toilet really fast? You just just kill him really fast. Oh, there's another one. There's a, there was there was one inside of a claw toilet. Inside of a claw toilet. Inside of a claw. How many were together? You guys. Oh my God. Do they live inside of each other? Are you guys breeding there? Hello. Or is is there more? Thank God. What on? earth okay so this is the most important thing that we need to pay attention to so you get roughly 200 gifts every time you beat the map which in my opinion is bad that's not very good and you get around 2,000 experience for every time you beat the map let's go investigate and see how many levels it takes to go up each tier i'm pretty sure it's 2,000 as you can see right here it is 2,000 and that's relatively universal i don't know why i said relatively it is universal you can expect each one of these tiers to take you about 2,000 experience to get to the next tier so if you're anything like me you're probably right around this tier as well so with that being said, out of all of these missions at this point in time, how long will it take us to finish off this pass? We'll get an extra tier for playing for two hours. We'll get an extra tier and a half for destroying 5,000 toilets. We'll also get a tier and a half for, for opening 25 Santa crates. And we'll also get another tier for collecting 5,000 presents. At this point in time, these won't be that reliable to us. We have 20 more tiers till we get to the end. So that's at bare minimum 20 more playthroughs of the map and you can expect to complete half of these if not all of them by the end so based off my judgment i think it would only take 10 more games of the new map fully maxed out the pass which if you want to get your calculator out i'll go ahead and do the math for you that is slightly over three hours and currently at this point in time i've played this new update and specifically this map for about two hours and 40 minutes so using basic math and numbers it takes right around six hours of strictly doing the north pole on auto skip to complete the pass if you think that's good or bad let me know down in the comments below i'm glad i was able to find out the math and figure out how fast you can actually complete the new pass and the map before i go i know you guys are thinking what i'm thinking <laughs> i have enough gifts for a new upgrade bop, 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 bop. and i got an epic my luck do you think toilet targets has gotten too easy i mean there's so many good and strong units now you can help on any modem basically beat the map with your eyes closed. So today, I'm gonna make 200 tower pits way harder every single round. Every round, I'm gonna spin a wheel and basically have to do some sort of punishment to make the map harder. And I mean, some of these are bad. Ooh. And I can't quit until I beat the map. If you guys are new around here, we're trying to hit 15k by the end of the year, so make sure you guys drop a subscribe on the channel. Either way, without further ado, let me show you the wheel. As you can see here, 
this wheel is not forgiving. There's some funny things. There's some bad things. I'm not looking forward to this. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And... Bob. Oh my gosh, I'm totally gonna regret doing this. Start with the mythic and then we go spin the wheel. All right, what are we gonna have to do on this first wave? It's gonna be sink skibbity toilet. All right, let's sink skibbity toilet. Skibbity toilet, skibbity skibbity toilet. Oh yeah, I love skibbity. <laughs> Skibbity and toilet, so good, yeah. I got the skibbity in the streets. Skibbity, skibbity, toilet. Yes, yes. Okay, we're done with that now. Half the punishment is having to spin the wheel all the time. And this next round, we're going to have to not be able to upgrade for five rounds. Okay, we're going to have to try our best to keep that in mind. So I can't upgrade until wave nine. That's actually pretty bad. It's actually really bad. To try and survive that, we're just going to place units in a way that we would normally place them we also just can't upgrade our farm units either that's so bad all right what's next up on the wheel as if things weren't bad enough for me already oh my gosh yes don't spin the wheel for five rounds what round is it okay wave seven okay i don't have to spin till wave 12 and at wave nine i'm gonna start being able to upgrade my units again as you can see here we're trying to be smart with our money placing things down that we can i don't think it's that smart with what we have to do okay it's wave nine i can finally upgrade myself let me upgrade my farm units we missed out on so much guapo by not being able to upgrade them surprisingly enough this setup right here has been doing just fine for us upgrade you upgrade you and i still don't have to worry about spinning again for another few waves and it's wave 12 okay Please be good to me, wheel. I don't want anything bad. Safe? I'm safe. Okay, we're safe this round. This wheel has been so nice to me. We will spin again as soon as wave 14 starts. Honestly, I should probably be scared the wheel hasn't done anything bad to me yet because there's some bad things on this wheel. Like, sell. No, sell. Yes, yes. Sell all legendaries. Amazing. Fantastic. It doesn't get much better than that. I don't even have any legendaries right now. And I have to go spin again. Oh, it just, it just never ends. It just never ends i've been getting really lucky i have a legendary in my team i just haven't placed any down yet oh my god we're getting so lucky so epic units i don't have any try again as you can see though in my inventory i tactically did place a different rarity exclusively for this challenge time to spin again the wheel has been my best friend and it looks like we're safe there's no way this is rigged for me yep you guys saw here first i rigged the wheel and we're we're spinning again, my friend. Please don't do anything bad to me. Can't upgrade for five rounds. That's actually pretty bad. That's actually pretty bad. Not being upgraded for five rounds. The best we can do in that situation, situation, is just place down some present boys and hope we have enough damage per second for the time being. I just went ahead and placed down a different variety of units just in case I lose all my godlies. And let's spin the wheel again. So many spins. No. Can't upgrade for five rounds? Does that mean I can't upgrade till like wave 32? That's actually really bad. Like really, really bad. And now I have to spin again? No. I am really lucky that the Titan Present Man does so much damage, but is it going to be enough? I don't know. This is looking kind of bad. And then I have to spin it again. And now I have to sell my legendary unit I just placed. Oh no, there's so much stuff coming. There's so many strong units coming, so many toilets. I can't upgrade you, I can't upgrade you, and I have to spin the wheel again. Ah, ah, this is starting to get a little bit hectic. This is starting to get a little bit hectic. Please, wheel, be nice to me. Be nice to me. Don't do anything bad. If I just sell my godlies, I'm done for. No, no, no. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, don't spin the wheel for five rounds. It would be my honor. It would be my honor. Okay, I don't have to spin the wheel until wave 33, and I can upgrade my units again at wave 32. Did you see how close it was? To me, I to sell all my godly units. I, I would have been so dead. I might already be dead. Oh my goodness gracious. The best I can do is just place down more godlies and pray. I'm at the max amount of godlies that I can have right now. Wave 32 cannot come sooner. Wave 32, I need you now. I've never wanted a new round to exist more than ever before. Did you see how far back the airplane got? Oh my god. Wave 31? Come on, just get through the vacuums. Just get through the vacuums. Do we have any big toilets coming? Okay, we have a dual rocket launcher coming, and we have those rocket toilets. Okay, the rocket toilets are the problem. Hopefully, that UFO is also a problem. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we're gonna upgrade all of these one time. This should make my life so much easier. 
here. Oh, I just felt like the weight of the world just got taken off my shoulders. I went ahead and upgrade all my shields as well. Max out my turkey crates and upgrade all these to level two to now have to go. You guessed it. Spin the wheel again. After I was knocking on death's door, I literally couldn't get any closer to dying there. And no, no. Sell all farm units. No, we don't need that, my man. They're all level seven too. Ah, this is so bad for the economy. All right, I sold all of them. I'm now going to place all of them back down. That is, th that's, that's, this is just so stupid. This is just so stupid. I'm just missing out on money and I'm basically losing money by doing this. That's all that's happening. Okay, we got them back to where we were. We effectively just had a net negative. Go back, spin the wheel again. I, if it makes me sell my units again, we're gonna have some issues. We're gonna have some issues. I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe. Safe and sound. Hey, that's wave 38. We go back to the wheel immediately. Okay, spin that wheel, baby. What's it gonna be this time? Freeze! Okay, when freeze happens, it's actually not too big of a deal. I'm just not allowed to move my character. And you know what? I'm not in a bad spot right now. I'm totally safe where I am. I am gonna max out my first Titan TV, man. I just think it's a good idea. And I'm stuck here for five rounds. So I won't be able to move until wave 44. Spin the wheel again. What's it gonna be, my friend? No. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Frankly, it doesn't get worse than this. Okay. And I can't move. We gotta go fast. Okay. We have to sell all of them before we're allowed to place any again. That was so bad. That was so bad. Why? 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 Please don't let this be the end. Please do not let this be the end. Okay. Okay, we found some salvation. We're not completely toast. We're not toast! We're not saved from the wheel. How dare you make me sell all my godly units? That's so bad. Just so you guys know, it's bad every time I sell my units because I lose so much money in the way. Seriously? Really? Scooby Dog 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 Yes Yes! Scooby Dog Me Me! Scooby Dog 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 Yes Yes! Scooby Dog! Okay, it's wave 44. Spin it again. And this wave. Are you. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding. There's literally only three of those on the wheel. That's not even fair. Oh my gosh. I seriously can't believe how bad my luck was with that. That's insane. I also am allowed to move now. There's literally the least amount of those on the wheel. How is that even fair? All right, let's go ahead and spin the wheel again. This time around, we're going to have to... Oh my gosh gosh i swear i'm getting the worst things right now i literally am getting the worst thing sell sell i can't sell because you're sleeping on the job i only place down two screw it dude it's not even worth it right now all right what are we going what do we got going into the last wave good sir what are we going to do to me sell all epic units okay that's pretty bad but it's not the end of the world i think we'll be okay sell sell and then we'll just max out our godly and now last but not least we spin the wheel for the final round what are you gonna make me do for the final round we have to sell last place unit that's totally fine that's totally fine it was my santa tv man have it have it i don't even want it and now we wait to see if this ragdag, ragdag, this ragtag team of units is strong enough to beat the newest map. I was gonna say new hardest map, but I don't think it's too hard. At the moment, my team looks like it's doing great against this wave. The biggest question is if we're gonna be able to take out the frost skeleton toilet. Admittedly, a lot of these toilets are getting deeper on our track than I've ever seen. Does it make me nervous? Yes. Do I think I can beat it? Maybe. The massive bus oven's about to go down. And now my shields are smoking that quad rocket. Beautiful. All right, the frost skeleton toilet is coming down. This is the true test of our willpower. Can we kill you? Can we kill you? Can we kill you? Say it with me now. Can we kill you? Can we kill you? Yes, we can! And just like that, we beat the hardest version of the North Pole that exists. We can kill you! And just like that, I escaped with the hair on my skin, even though I have bones. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to try this challenge out for yourself, leave a comment down below and I'll link you to the wheel so you can spin it yourself and see if you can beat the hardest challenge. Thank you guys for watching. Hopeless is currently still on a boat list. I am on vacation, so this was a pre-recorded video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Take care. It's Christmas units inside of here. Well, 
Mr. Opus, that's kind of a silly question. Why is it, why is it silly, old man? Please, tell me why is it silly. Well, that's because I sent you back in time. Well, yeah, I know that. You sent me back in time, but shouldn't I bring my belongings with me? Well, no. I simply reverse time. So all the updates that were previously there at the time were still currently in place. Well, old man, I don't really think that makes sense. Why can't I use my Christmas crates here? Boy, I already can control time. I really wouldn't be questioning the ifs and buts about my power. You know what? That is a very valid point. I'm not going to complain. How much time do I have left? 19 minutes? Oh, no. I'm running out of time. I really hope I don't lose this strategy. I've been so good about being Turkey Town every single time. I really hope today isn't the day that I lose. Oh, come on, Shields. Take care of the toxic school toilet. He's not even strong. He's not even strong. I mean, he looks disgusting. Wait, that's my brother. Can we ignore how I was just talking about my brother? We, we do not uh, discriminate against different types of skeletons here. Uh, please, please don't, don't tell the skeleton army that I said that. They'll be so upset. They'll be uh, extremely upset with me. I, I mm. Wave 34 with 11 minutes left? I think I'm gonna make it. I think we're gonna have just enough time to make it in this little bit of window. Window? This time window. And that way, I'll be able to have you guys keep all of your units and all of your money and everything that you spent in Toy Tower Defense. This would be the worst thing ever if they actually ended up winning. I still don't really understand this whole dark energy. Maybe we'll learn more about it in future videos. I don't know. It is kind of scary, though. Knowing there's some type of power out there that can take control of everything into a tower defense. Some type of dark power must be incredibly strong. But we're not going to worry about it too much now. All we can do is focus up, upgrade our units, and make sure we stop these waves. <laughs> we're running out of time. We're running out of time. I wish there was a fast forward button. I'm trying to click it in the corner, but it just doesn't exist. That toxic mutant toilet liked to act like he was so big and strong. Well, not against my units, because my units are so strong. How much time do we have left? <gasps> oh my gosh, I only have 14 minutes. I really hope I'm able to beat this wave in that amount of time. I've hit the max unit limit. No way. Oh no, guys. Guys, it looks like I'm starting to get corrupted. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm actually begging you to wait. Oh my goodness. This is. I ate every day. Can these exclusive units solo nightmare mode? I hope so. It's not looking good right now. Not gonna lie. All right, green. Show me what you can do. I guess I'm gonna place this guy here and hope he has like insane range. He does have insane range. Okay, so he's level four and he's doing 600. What's his DPS? Six times five? Uh, 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 3,000. 3,000 damage per second. What? Oh my god. That's actually insane good and his range is all the way around this bubble hello are you okay that just seems so good that boy needs a nerf oh my god hold up the wall man sire up close one. who is farting all right, men, pay attention now. How? Uh, what did that do? How good was that? Oh, my man's is doing damage. I is he? Oh, the vacuums are immune. Oh, wait, are they? I think the vacuums are immune. Okay, so wait. We're gonna have him focus strongest then, I guess? Because I think he doesn't affect the sunglasses toilets is my conclusion. Ultimate cameraman barrier activated. Let's just have these exclusive units stand on business super fast and easy to fully max him he does he, he seems like he does kind of a lot of damage and so far halfway through nightmare mode these exclusives are making my life pretty easy have we had some close calls maybe but are we getting the job done yes you can't argue with that the job is being done better question are we going to finish the job i don't know camera repair drone because i i don't know where else it should go to be honest okay so this camera repair drone is now max level Still Still don't understand what it does. Couldn't tell you if you asked. If you said, hey, Hopeless, can you make a video on how the camera repair drone works? I would say, no, I can't. And that's so weird. You get, why is there so many rockets? Calm down. We just placed down more shields. Raise them up, men. Everyone knows the one episode of Naruto where boys turn to men. Everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first time Naruto uses sexy jutsu. <clears throat> oh my God, wait. Did you, do, uh, the, 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 the green cameraman is absolutely 
shredding. Wait, what? You're actually good? Hello? I have good news and bad news. What do you want first? Good news is we're still winning. Bad news. I ran out of troops to place. Oh, no. That's a lot of stuff coming. What is the welder toilet? Get away. Die. Please. I I'm actually begging you. Please die. Uh, guys, I'm scared. Okay, I sold one of our economy units. So I can place out another one of these men. Just kidding. So I can place another one down. Hey, a bop. Oh, I love when it doesn't let me sell. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this game. I love this game. Oh, wait, I can only place down four of them. Some people don't just want to watch the world burn. Oh, wait, we're on wave 38. We, we actually look good right now. What? No, no I'm not surprised. <clears throat> I'm surprised. All right, we've reached our max units. This is the build. Two scientists save it. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, I don't think it matters. This looks bad. Flashlight, no, save. Yes, oh my God, the shield, the shield clutch. That shield clutch. Oh my gosh, hey, no, place it, place it down. No. Well, boys, it looks like the all-exclusive build made us lose at wave 40. This doesn't necessarily mean that buying exclusives aren't worth it. I think that they're all good in their own right, but they're more early game units. I think it'd be easily, and I mean pretty safely concluded, that they just don't deal enough damage per second to deal with those stronger and toilets on nightmare mode. They're great for hard mode. If you want to just start grinding hard modes, just buy it entire inventory you could literally beat the map with your eyes closed like close your eyes and place down your units wherever you want you're gonna win you're gonna win the game i can guarantee that but if you're trying to beat nightmare modes a full inventory of just exclusive units ain't gonna cut the pie but that wasn't the point of this video this point of this video is if it's worth getting them is it worth today i'm only gonna use 100 of the rarest units and because of the cap i'm with the boys today if you guys are excited to see this make sure you guys i am sitting down make sure you guys smash that subscribe button we're trying a 20,000 by the end of the year let's get in there i haven't played toilet city in so long and obviously we're playing on nightmare mode oh and Ooh. something i forgot to mention i'm playing on all of the accounts enhance the zoom in now i don't even want to think about how crazy this is going to get oh my huh? gosh i got the pumpkin farmer out what is even going on i'm currently in a frenzy trying to get everyone to place their farm units skip 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 okay okay okay, okay. this is freaking insane who does this i don't even know who's is who's and what's and what's anymore all i know is i need to start placing some units before things get bad what is this guy we have a uts oh no that's bad so far i've been extremely productive in my approach of forgetting who placed down what up at wave eight so far everything has been going good so far just two shields has somehow been doing the trick i i don't actually know how okay this is starting to get bad and fast this is starting to get bad and fast oh Oh no. Titan Prison Man, Titan Prison Man, go, go, go. I know you got nerfed, but please still be good. Oh, come on, Scientist TV Man. Don't fail me. Please don't fail me. Please, please. I'm begging you. Thank you for the love of everything holy. I lost. Oh my god. That just went by so fast. I don't even know what happened. I didn't even get close to placing 100 units. I think all I need to do is come up with a better strategy. That is literally the only thing that probably could have been flawed there. There is no way that hopeless me could have done anything wrong. No way. Half my problem is, is that this guy doesn't have a strong unit anymore. Alright, I got a new strategy. So far, things are feeling a little bit better right now. This is literally so insane. I have not done anything but break focus. I have been absolutely locked in. I don't want to let anything leak through at all. Literally nothing. I refuse. We have a boss to a 2.0 coming in. It's wave 18. Can't lose focus. I've had the strategy of like going down the conveyor belt of where I'm strategically changing what accounts I'm playing on and when. And boy, it's not easy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, uh. No, oh, no, 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 please, please don't. I got to exactly zero. Oh, no. Genuinely, after that performance, I am truly devastated. I did not think I had any chance of losing that. Zero, zilch, zada, not a thing. So part of me is wondering, maybe Twin City isn't the problem. Maybe I just need to try the North Pole, even though the North Pole is, like, literally harder. Bap, boing, bap, bap, splash. I forgot that you just jump right in because there is no skipping. Oh my god, okay. Currently already struggling, but that's okay. 
Okay, at zero, and I mean literally zero point in time, while I've been doing this, I've been playing this for 11 minutes, I haven't spoke almost at all. I'm almost dead, I don't even know when that happened. I have not felt safe for a second. There is no stopping, no relenting. I'm constantly looking at something to upgrade, switching accounts, and doing this. I literally can't speak. I can't focus. That is not a joke. However, 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 we are almost done with the challenge. As you can see, we're on wave 37 and things are looking pretty good. We are literally almost dead, but we're not. And that's what matters. It feels like we're running on a literal thread coming into the finish line here. The 100 rares unit challenge. Oh my. For just a second. Look at everything I have placed. There's so many mythics in a TV, man. We got pumpkin farmers out. Look at how many present men there are. That doesn't even make sense. It's not even fair. I have literally glitch cameramen out, science TV men out, UTCs out the absolute wazoo. Genuine insanity on this North Pole map right now. I even talk about all the shield cameramen that are right here. It's they're, it's lagging so bad I can't even place one right now. Go ahead and max out another UT. Here, I'll max out another Titan present man. Why not? Oh, hey, this guy has some money now. Here, let me just place a fully max UTC really fast. Oh, let me just wait to get some money to upgrade this Titan Godly all the way to Mythic or, or Epic. This one. How about this one? Oh my gosh. The amount of the uh, toilets that were just coming down this conveyor belt is so scary. Please tell me this isn't going to be the end of me. Please. I'm begging you. I'm literally begging you. Things are starting to look a little worse for wear for us, and I don't even know how. How? I don't even know how we could even possibly debate or even be close on losing, but it, it looks like it's happening. I just maxed out another Titan present man and I'm gonna lose. Oh, forklift toilet. Did you guys see that? The forklift toilet was literally holding the boss toilet three point. I don't, I am so confused about what I just witnessed. Obviously, when you guys are doing this for 24 hours, the biggest thing you need to keep in mind, especially if you're on the new account, you will not have access to these types of units immediately. So playing the game for 24 hours would be in your best interest. However, you would just be doing these types of game modes on medium mode. Unless you know you had a friend that could hook you up. Yo, see, look, 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 the wielder toilet, or the welder, welder. The wielder toilet's holding the toxic skull toilet. Like, what does this mean? Do they combo together? Like, is this guy just, like, ultra base boosted? I don't understand. Why is this? The welder holding him, bro. And why is the toxic school toilet okay with it? You know, something that I'm kind of surprised by the Titan present men aren't carrying as hard as they thought. Normally, when I do this with UTCs, most of these toilets don't get to this part of the track. But with the Titans, they are. Did the Titan present man nerf actually affect it that much to a point where it's not as good anymore? It's really starting to make me think that, like, we are not doing that much damage to this boss toilet 4.0. Thank you, Shield. Just so you guys know, these are all maxed out completely. We are on wave 44 as well. Like, um, hello? Why does this toxic mutant have so much this far down? Like, chill, bro. You're not that- you're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. I'll see you in the grave. I'll, I'll, actually, I'll see you next to my grave. I'm already dead. I'm starting to feel like I might lose. What the heck is going on? Uh, hello, guys. Can you please take out the ultraviolet launcher toilet? Please? Like, please? Please? Okay, I think we might be able to breathe. I think we might be able to breathe. All right, everyone, focus your presence at the scientist. Murder the scientist! Never let him cook again! And after barely making it out by the skin of our teeth, we beat Nightmare Mode in 18 minutes, and we got 1,800 coins. So let's say we went ahead and did that all for our 24 hours inside of the game. What exactly would that get us? Well, you could do this approximately three times in the span of an hour. So just on one account, no other accounts, you'd get 5,400 coins. And let's just say you did that for 12 hours in a day, you would be getting 64,800 coins. So if you want to spend your 24 hours in this game, you could get a, over 100,000 coins if you ex exclusively, explicitly only played nightmare modes, which you could do. It's not completely impossible. Obviously, not everyone's problem this unit might eventually have is when it comes to a bunch of, yeah, strong units at once. Is he going to be able to melt these, sh like, other small 
like units quick enough? That's kind of what I'm concerned about. So that's why the, the, the Frost DJ is so good. Like his DPS is a lot lower than a large cameraman, but the Frost can do splash. Also, I have noticed it appears that the large laser cameraman does not get stunned. I also haven't even been paying attention to him. Bro is actually handsome. Why is bro so handsome? Who's talking right now? Quit being weird. All right, we got to save up a little bit of money so we can get him to level four. If I had to guess what level he got up to, it'd be level five or level four. I don't really see him going up much higher after this, but pretty soon his DPS is about to be insane. What is that? It'd be 1,400 times 10. His DPS is going to be 14,000. 14,000 damage per second. All right, and he's ma he has maxed out. Okay, so he maxes out at about 14,000 damage per second, which is better than the glitch, I think think with more range oh yeah whoa definitely with more range oh my gosh this guy can hit you anywhere on the map so for example this has 14,000 dps while the frost dj has the same amount of range and he does 7,500 damage per second and it costs the frost dj less to upgrade so the large laser cameraman's really good but as a mythic he's kind of okay but let me know your thoughts down below maybe you guys are seeing something large, large laser cameraman that I'm not. He might be better to you guys than he is for me. So I notice when units get close, he kind of flings his sword up in the air. And I'm like, oh, does he do some type of melee attack? No, I don't think this unit does any type of melee attack. I'm pretty sure that's him defending off against getting stunned. I think he's he's saying no to stuns either way i think i'm going to sell my frost dj speaker man only because i think it's only fair that we try to beat this map only using the large laser cameraman i honestly i don't know if it can i i don't know if it can but i want to have some faith in the large laser cameraman so let's just keep placing down some more and having faith in our man i think one thing that we could do better is placing him here here because yes he still has the range to attack them and this will also give him the range back here Fundaba. yeah like they might have melt damage but it just it takes them so long to kill certain things without that splash damage like the frost dj never let those things get as far down the track as these boys are letting them okay yes so you guys see them like you know throwing up their weapons like lightsabers yeah it's it's protecting them from the stun i can confirm that that's that's what 100 oh so they do still get stunned okay it looks like they have a certain amount of stun protection but after a certain amount they do end up dying not dying getting stunned what can i speak so the large laser cameraman is so far handling nightmare mode currently i have 12 of them placed and they're all fully maxed we haven't had a scare of taking any leak damage yet but i am getting scared about being able to beat the map i'm not fully confident in this team i just don't know if they do enough damage quick enough to solo this map uh oh well it looks like my worst fear is coming into fruition the large laser cameraman is actually really struggling right now and when i say really struggling i mean like it, they're gonna lose i don't know if there's anything that's gonna save them now there's 140 there's 50 there's so 150 there's 150 toilets out on the map right now this bro sleeping on the job i think that's gonna be it for the large laser cameraman yeah it's dead negative 28,900 940 damage whoa you know so i'm really happy and thankful that i had the chance to summon the large laser cameraman 2000 more got summoned. what i'm glad i got lucky i'm glad i was able to do it but as far as mythics go and units go he's not too good i'm not gonna lie he's okay but let me know if you guys think he's good down below but he is not good enough to solo nightmare mode. either way that's all i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you guys again soon bye unstunned in this middle bubble well he goes all the way up to level six that seems a little bit like overkill if you ask me but you know what we're here to test it so we gotta go all the way up so this is what it looks like at the max level oh my gosh it looks like it has similar range to the literal sniper unit it doesn't matter where you are on the map the speaker repair drone's gonna find you still though i haven't had the chance to watch the repair drone go to work the djs are literally too strong
song. Maybe I'll just place a weaker speaker man here just for the time being. Just to see what happens. Because it's inside of the range, right? Yeah, it is. We'll wait to see this get stunned. It happened for a second. I saw him move for a literal split second, but that was it. There are literally stun units going by, but they don't want anything to do with this man. Do I have to upgrade him? Do I have to make him more of a threat? Okay, surely something's going to stop by and stun. No, the buzzsaw does not want to stun these two units. All right, surely the assassin's going to stop by and take in a quick swing, right? Right? No. Okay, look, our unit got stunned, and then the camera repair drone just flew over and unstunned him. That's, I think that's it. I think that's literally all that happened. Okay, look, look, he flies over. Nice. Okay, no, it's actually really good. He flies over, gives a little zap zap, and then they wake back up. But does that mean he's better than the camera repair drone? So he's flying over. Yeah, yeah, boom, boom, yeah. As soon as it gets done, he flies over pretty fast. That's important to know. He flies over at a pretty quick speed, gives him a little zappy zap, and then they're good to go. Fresh as, fresh as a daisy. Yep, there he goes again. So let's compare this range to that of the camera repair drone. See, watch him go, comes over, gives him the unstun. Everything's fine. Okay, see, now he's actually put in work. When it gets to the higher level 30 waves, the speaker repair drone actually becomes viable because they were able to kill waves a lot faster. Okay, we'll place the camera, camera repair drone down basically in the same spot. I think that's fair. So we'll place him down right here. And bad. So we'll place him down right here. Hey, as you can see, the speaker repair drone doesn't have the same energy gain effect. So we're going to max him out. This only goes to level 4, whereas the speaker repair drone goes to level 6. And the range of the camera speaker or the camera repair drone is 40, while that of the speaker repair drone is 14. But the walk range is 50. So it can technically reach 10 more units than the speaker repair drone or the camera repair drone. It just takes longer to get there, if that makes sense. So basically your unit might be stunned for half a second longer, but the speaker repair drone's gonna get there. Like where this camera repair drone's placed right here, this speaker drone can reach places that this camera repair drone cannot. See, the speaker repair drone's off doing business, doing his job, going to work, while the camera repair drone hasn't had to do anything because it can only reach this row of unit right here. So situationally, the speaker repair drone might be better. So now that I think about it, I think it would be better if I sold both of these and I placed both of them right here. Just like that and just like this. Okay, so now the camera repair drone is going to town. You can tell because it's using its energy. The speaker repair drone is also working at the same time. See, when you have toilets like the toxic mutant toilet come, it makes these repair drones a lot better because this stuns a bunch of units as once. And when you get to the later waves, there's a lot more units that like to stun regardless. Whoa, our camera repair drone's already down to 48 percent when you get to these later waves i didn't know how viable and important they were oh my goodness they're using up all of his juices right now they're stunning everything in sight he's down to zero percent you almost actually do need the speaker repair drone if i didn't have them right now i don't know how i would be living these units might be necessary for the new nightmare mode see the massive buzzsaw is going to come in but the speaker repair drone needs to come over and fix them up and we got the giant smooth Toilet. I actually haven't had to fight this new unit yet, but thankfully with my camera repair drones, I don't have to worry about anything. Yo, take down the giant smooth boy. Bro might think he knows how to boogie, but show him that we know how to boogie harder. And just like that, the giant smooth toilet goes down and we get some coins for the road. So after that battle, I think it's safe to say that the speaker repair drone and the camera repair drone are probably equally as good. I think if you have either one, they're both equally as viable. It just depends on your preference. I think on a bigger map like Toilet City or Palm Paradise, the speaker repair drone is probably just a tad bit better. But if you want quicker stun like protection, then the better choice is going to be the camera repair drone. Let me know down below if you think it's worth it at all. You might just think that your units don't need stun protection, and that's okay too. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys i'll see you guys again tomorrow new existed the goal is here that once the utc gets upgraded enough it's gonna start spawn killing units right here and of course at wave four is when it gets its get which at level four it is going to be doing 5600 damage per second 5600 yeah that sounds about right and with just the next upgrade we'll simply be doubling that
and boom just like that we got our utc up to, to level five let's see how we handled the giant blind toilet plus we also have a ufo coming down as well so obviously the ufo is going to go invis and he's going to go back to the giant blind toilet oh no so no he just yeah that sucks that's the one thing i hate about the ufo and he did get stunned there okay did he get stunned by the ufo the ufo does have a pretty strong ray Alrighty. so now i wave 22 i'm gonna get my upgraded titan cinema man to level six and now he's taking care of units all the way up here pretty soon his range probably level seven from literally placed in the middle will be spawn killing units which is exactly what we're looking for we're halfway through nightmare mode and all i want to say is the utc is still an absolute stud of a unit if you have him or you don't have him definitely go out of your way to get this man he does not joke around now at level six he's gonna do damage even faster even at level seven is Damage per second's clocking in somewhere in the 30,000 range. <laughs> Sorry, I was laughing at the mutant toilet. He just ran straight up to my Santa TV. And then wave 28. Finally, we're able to max out our UTC all the way. Took such a long time, but here we go. At random times, we're watching our UTC bow, but I don't think he's bowing. I'm pretty sure he's dropping his hammer down like Thor. When he drops his hammer down, is he doing any extra damage, or does that mean a unit's in his, like, specific little triangle? I have a feeling that's what it is. Nonetheless, next UTC down. Only one thing's better than one UTC, and that's two of them. Let's get this boy maxed out and see how much work they're able to do. We now have two fully maxed out UTCs, and we're making our way on the third all i have is one thing to say and it's that the utc is the goat watch this boy chuck down his hammer on these toilets like it's going out of style all i know is one thing i don't want to be that welder toilet dude when these things put you in your scope you need to be scared oh look at this boss toilet 4.0 it's so cute he thinks he has a chance and then he just gets rained on by a hammer all of these blue lasers coming out of the toilets. Oh my gosh, it just doesn't get better. We now have three maxed out UTCs and we're making our way on the fourth. I will say I am surprised by how far some of these toilets are making it down the conveyor belt. But the thing you can't forget about the UTC is that its range goes all the way back here. So even if something starts leaking all the way down here, we have no reason to be worried as it's hitting it all the way through this. Yeah, I I think the utc might be a little broken i think it's safe to say the ultra titan cameraman has reclaimed its throne as the best mythic unit so we talked about this happening where units come back here but we literally aren't worried so now we have four fully maxed out UTCs. What a better way to celebrate than by making us have five. All right, the big boy wave 50 is starting so we can sell all of our Santa crates. We no longer need them. Go ahead and upgrade this all the way. And let's see how our five ultra Titan cameramen, not all maxed out, take on wave 50 of nightmare mode. All right, the giant smooth toilet has been dropped down and it is game time. So all the way to this point, they haven't done that much damage to the giant smooth <laughs> but as it's making its way down it's just getting absolutely shredded and these guys don't even do splash and just like that the utc still obviously carries nightmare mode so that's definitely settled debate as i said before the utc is definitely the best mythic in the game right now if you guys don't have the utc go get your hands on it now watch my last video check out the best way to beat endless mode and i'll see you guys again tomorrow peace did it handle the mutant toilet okay pretty good actually i'm actually genuinely impressed the spider toilets did suck the life from that mutant toilet pretty fast so i think i should have some more confidence in the spider tv what do you guys think do you guys think this is gonna be the no new most broken unit on endless mode it very well could be so I went ahead and placed down some more Spider TV, boys. Obviously, these guys aren't even close to being maxed out yet. But I was trying to figure out where maybe the best spot to place these units were. Considering it can't get stunned, there's not really a bad place to put the Spider TV, which is massive leverage. So, you know, I'm testing placing my units a little bit here and a little bit there. But ultimately, I want to find where the best spot to place it is. All right, so we're now on to wave 30. No issue so far. We have the flying dual buzzsaw, which is going to be a good reference for how good the spider TV is. How well do we take down something with 500,000 health? Well, it was pretty good, but the unit didn't make it all the way down here. Why do I always say unit? I meant toilet. The toilet made it down here. So obviously that gives us some concern, but 
obviously we don't have anywhere near max spider toilets yet so i'm just gonna keep slowly maxing out my spider tvs as things are coming out of the conveyor belt and i'll come back and talk to you guys when things either get hectic or i have a bunch more max spiders so at the moment at wave 36 every single spider that i have placed down is maxed out which i believe is six as you can see they actually do an insane amount of damage when you stack all of them together they're actually doing 60,000 damage per second and since i'm just placing down more and more and more it's only gonna get higher until i have a max amount of units so the real question is where is the level to where the spiders can no longer hold up because obviously it's not wave 38 all right so we are at wave 41 now fully on auto skip we haven't had a stop and we are facing the glitch toilet i have had issues with it in the past but not with the spider tvs Mm -mm. no issues here okay so bad news with our santa tvs placed down we now have our max amount of spiders that we can have placed, which is 12. So as soon as we start selling some of these Santa TV men, that's when we're going to start need to sell the spider TV boys. So we're going to sell one now and place one of our spiders down like so. Within the next two to three rounds, we will have a fully maxed out set of spider TV toilets. Right now, they're clearly being put to their test as they have 1 million health units coming out of the conveyor belt. And when they can't stack up on each other, they don't really do that much. But Obviously, when they get near the back end where all the spiders can focus on just one toilet, clearly the spider TV gets pretty good. So I skipped the wave to catch up on damage, but it looks like there might not be any catching up to do. Mainly because all of these are out of the spider TV's range. It and since that's all I can place, I think we just lose on wave 47. <laughs> One Spider TV wasn't able to save the day. All we needed was 28,000 more damage. Oh no. So after that little bit of an experiment, I don't know if you can confirm and or deny if the Spider TV is a W or L unit on endless mode. Let me know what you guys think down below. Or if you think the Spider TV needs a buff, considering it's the rarest unit in the game. Either way, that's all the time I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love and appreciate every single one of you guys watching. And if you wanted the chance to get free units, make sure you guys subscribe and tune in to the next video. And watch yesterday's video if you haven't already. Alright. Uh, handsome Skeleton out! Oh, it's hopeless. Oh, it's hopeless trying to get partner in ttd but they don't wanna give it to me i spend all my money on units and robux you know i want the best units i'm gonna put in the work i'm gonna put it in the paint you know what i'm saying player then i go around find the best units put them to the test show them who's best flexing on the boys that don't got my best gonna sign units once upon a time i know that i will never rest until the day happens. Thank you for watching. I love you. Giving me a couple of issues. More than one. And the Sinister is able to take him down without a problem. So we're going to keep upgrading the Santa TV man. Upgrading the Sinister 10 TV man. And hopefully make it to wave 45 here in a jiff. Now back to your gym scheduled program. We are 1000% pushing our luck right now with the gym units. I am going to upgrade the Santa TV man as long as I can to try to save equity before I place down one of the hypers and or the toxic the spider tv is uh doing things dude turn around hit both of them at once this is hey this is not working buddy hey buddy oh pal i, I love you you're great but like hit them both please i was just about to upgrade that and then the minigun stuns just that the world's burning okay hopefully we make enough money and i don't regret everything hyper upgraded titan speaker man number one placed make that number two right there okay this is gonna be the one we upgrade first all right it looks like he's gonna be doing a dps of like 7,000 right now that should hopefully be just fine i don't think we should have any issues taking out 171,000 hp boss actually we might i just ran the i ran the numbers we might we might need another upgrade okay i think we should definitely be good now there's really no point in upgrading the spire tv anymore it, it really was just a filler unit until we were able to get our hyper down all right so it looks like we are doing fine against immune toy 2.0 yeah we're we're fine how was that compared to that of the free units though did that look a little bit better did it look worse I don't know. Let's go back and check. I'm impressed with how close I got these two Titan units together. With this new update on Endless Mode, this is actually the coolest thing that they did. They made it so that you can actually place down units over this lake, which seems stupid, 
But in this case, I'm actually able to place these titans down super close together. Which you might not know is actually a big deal. I swear to God that it is. Mm, 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 frost DJ. Mm, 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 frost DJ. Mm, do the Frost DJ dance. I'm dancing because I'm doing the Frost DJ dance. B back to the gems. Whatever. Wave 25 and I got all my Santas fully upgraded. Hyper upgraded Titan Spirit Rant level 3. We only have two of them down. Make that level 4. And we're killing the kitty cat. Thank God. That kitty cat is an absolute problem. But we're one level away from maxing out our hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man already. That's one thing that is pretty crazy about the hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man. It only has five levels. Yes, the last level is really freaking expensive. But it's also like the best upgrade level up in the entire game. So I'm not mad. Who's complaining? Not the skeleton boy. All right, let's see you at the boss. All right, it's wave 30, and I have my Sensor Titan TV Man level 6, and I have my U upgraded Titan Cinema Man at level 5. How does this handle up against the flying dual buzzsaw toilet? The, you know, the boy that cries wolf. It's looking like we do 600,000 damage pretty easily. Okay, that was good to see. We are not doing any stun or anything like that yet. As soon as we do that, we'll be getting that much stronger that's what is super cool and unique about the free units is that like the upgraded titan cinema man does get stun time and the sinister titan tv man does do slow so yes i am missing out of the slowing effect the chef the toxic and the green laser however we still get our own stunning capabilities with massive dps on top of it it's no hyper but we're making it work Let's go. Is this the best duo the world's ever seen? Booba da bobbity. We got a max hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man just in time for the level three or wave 30 boss of Chino. Looks like he's spending his time luxuriously stunning my Santa TV man. And you can do that more often. Don't mind if you do. I'll just murder you. So you guys can tell because I'm going back and forth between both the units and how things are going. But place your bets now. Do we think we make it farther? with the gem units or you think the free units are actually gonna make it farther in the end so far i'm leaning more towards the gem units but i could be wrong speaking of the gym or the free units let's go back to those guys stupid losers okay we're finally able to get our sinister man fully maxed out over here looks like we're struggling to kind of do a million damage right here which is kind of a concern for us for sure what if that upgraded titan cinema man figures it out with the welder but i got a date to make the upgraded titan cinema man level eight nice okay i upgraded his range just a tad hopefully that range is good enough even on the outside to do 20,000 damage to the welder. And it is. Okay, we had no reason to worry. We have the glitch coming out next. Let's see how we hold up against that. Oh, that glitch actually kind of just got destroyed. I was too busy playing Tetris with my big old Titan boys over here. I didn't even realize that the glitch was out. But we're doing pretty good so far, and it looks like we actually might be able to make it all the way to wave 45 like I was hoping for. Which means, no both hopeless. Ha <laughs> ha. Have you ever seen a wall of upgraded Titan speaker men like this before? I didn't know you could place Titans down this close together. And the spider TV is just in the way. Oh my god, wait. I don't even have the toxic place down. What am I doing? The range of the hyper is 55. What's the toxic? 65. Okay, perfect. So then I can sneak him behind right here. One of the biggest ways I've ever done. I have the toxic in my inventory and I'm not even using them to slow them down. This composition could be so much better than I didn't even realize. Obviously, I just hope I have enough time to fully max out some more of my hyper upgraded Titans to easily get past wave 45. At the end of the day, that is the goal. And boop, Chino! We do have our toxic upgraded Titan cameraman fully maxed out, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like we have our toxic cloud within inside of his range. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter because even our fully maxed out hyper is barely hitting over here anyways. It's the glitch, glitch! Glitch, glitch, glitch. Dude, why does the glitch die so fast? I feel like normally I used to just have issues with the glitch over and over and over again. However, these days, bro just gets absolutely cooked. Things are definitely starting to get hectic on the free unit side of things. It's hard to save up that money when you need it most. We're starting to get a bunch of those million and two million HP toilets stacked up on, get on each other. 
This is definitely when having like a speaker man on your team is your best friend. Having that full bubble of AoE, like this Frost DJ, makes your life significantly easier. Also, I know the Upgraded Titan Cinema Man has the stun ability. I have never really seen it work effectively before. Oh, never mind. It, it worked right there. And it looks like we're going to go down on wave 48. Boing! And we did. Unfortunate. So it looks like with free units on auto skip, we're able to get all the way to wave 48. I guess technically 41 with them. But how are the gem units doing? I might have spoke too soon. As now the world knows what I want most. And that was to beat wave 50. But now it seems that might not happen. As the giant smooth and laser science's toilet had other plans for me is it ironic that we lost both time to a laser scientist toilet like really do you really have to do that to me but we will take it as you can see wave 49 oh that's such a troll that's such a troll just give me wave 50 dude give me extra coins whatever either way without further ado that is gonna conclude the video today hopefully you guys enjoyed this style of video it was a new idea i thought of hopefully you guys enjoyed it especially with the rainbow challenge yesterday i just want to keep trying new things because Sometimes TTD gets stale. If you guys haven't already, make sure you check out all my other videos that are currently showing on the screen. They're all good. I promise you'll love them. And if you also haven't, make sure you guys subscribe so you can get to 50k by the end of the month. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. I'm feeling the map with farts. Smell my farts. They taste like death. Rain. Farts upon them all. I definitely think the Toxic helped us out a ton. It's essentially given us a similar slowdown to that of the green laser, just not as much. Also, I do not think I've effectively been upgrading my hypers at all. I'm just kind of stagger upgrading. I still don't know if that's like the most effective strategy, but that's what we're doing today. So we rock with it, we roll with it. But boys, we just killed that large scientist toilet. And I think that only means one thing. Obviously, we want free to win. We love free stuff. We like working hard to get free stuff. But after that scientist goes down, that only means one thing. The gym units are 1000% can be concluded, can be confirmed stronger than that of free units. If you're wondering why, it's because the large scientist is what killed me on this map earlier. So we'll just play out the rest of this map and see how far we can get on auto skip with the toxic and the hyper. I'm hoping we can actually make it pretty far, but let's find out together, shall we? I'm hoping I can get past wave 50. I would love some clovers. I might have spoke too soon. As now the world knows what I want most. And that was to beat wave 50. But now it seems that might not happen. As the giant smooth and laser science's toilet had other plans for me. Is it ironic that we lost both time to a laser scientist toilet? Like really? Do you really have to do that to me? But we will take it. As you can see, wave 49. Oh, that's such a troll. That's such a troll. Just give me wave 50, dude. Give me extra coins. Whatever. Either way, without further ado, that is going to conclude the video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this style of video. It was a new idea I thought of. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Especially with the rainbow challenge yesterday. I just want to keep trying new things because sometimes TTD gets stale. If you guys haven't already, make sure you check out all my other videos that are currently showing on the screen. They're all good. I promise you'll love them. And if you also haven't, make sure you guys subscribe so you can get to by the end of the month. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Today, I'm going to literally freeze. That's right. Completely immobilize a boss toilet and toilet tower defense. Don't believe me? Check this out. As you can see right here in Koopy's video, he's completely immobilized the broken heart toilet. It looks like he did it by using... Upgraded Titan Cinema Man and Hyper Upgraded Speaker Man. Now, yeah, for a strategy, it looks like he just has a bunch of upgraded Titan TV men. It looks like, though, he also might be using the Lucky Leprechaun and the DJ Speaker Man. But it looks like it's someone else's unit, though. Interesting. Is this like a three man or four man team? Either way, let's build the best team that we can to try to freeze our unit or the boss to it just like he did. If you're excited to watch me completely freeze and immobilize a boss to it, make sure you guys smash that like and subscribe button. Okay, obviously, we're gonna need the hyper upgrade time speaker man. 
Let's add the best cooldown unit, in my opinion. The Toxic Upgraded Titan Cameraman. The Flamethrower does slow down, but it kind of sucks. So we'll throw in the Sinister instead. We'll use the Upgraded Titan Cinema Man just like he did. This might be the key with his stun. And of course, I'm not going to forget him. Of course, we're going to use a Green Laser Cameraman. So one overpowered unit. I was going to say three stun units, but you can't do this without Santa. All right, boys, let's get it. Up. Uh a little bit of green laser cameraman, please. So my goal is here is to at least get like five of the upgraded Titan Cinema Man fully maxed out. Probably two of the green laser cameraman maxed out. However many of the hypers that we need. I mean, this is just our high DPS unit. So this isn't really stun at all. But we'll also do two of the sinisters. So what would that be? Three of these, three of these. So that's six units. Also, I'm an idiot. I placed down the green... Have I ever played this game before? Did you guys witness that? I'm losing my actual brain. I placed down the green laser cameraman before I placed down the farm unit. What is happening to me? I'm losing my mind. I've been playing too much toy tower defense. Also, boys, here's a deal. If I don't successfully get past wave, not even a wave. If I don't successfully stun a unit or completely freeze it like I was talking about, how about on Monday, which would be March 18th, I'll have to live stream me getting to, I don't know, level 50 and blocks fruit on this account. I made a video the other day where my, like, if I lost the challenge, I would have to live stream me doing whatever the top comment was. And the top comment was, play blocks fruits. So I will do a live stream of that on Monday if I'm not able to completely immobilize a unit. So if we're, you know, maybe this doesn't work out because I don't have all the appropriate units like the upgraded Frost DJ. I forgot the Leprechaun too. Oh yeah, the Leprechaun's really, really good for new endless mode strategies, I just realized. No wonder people were able, able to get up to like wave 120. They're using the Leprechaun. Oh my god. Why did I not even think about that? I'm an idiot. Also, you guys want to know something that's funny? Do you into, don't you guys know the new Leprechaun upgrade that I was just talking about? How it upgrades your range? In one of my most recent videos, I was literally talking about how that's something toy tower events should literally consider implementing and guess what they freaking did it so they listen to my ideas and use them and implement them into the game but you know what they don't implement the partner badge next to my name if this video gets 500 likes i'll make a song asking talanters to partner me yo ho 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 partner me also to literally no one's surprise large glasses toilet got absolutely cooked we know exactly what we expect from this we've done it a thousand times I'll see you guys once I'm able to place down some more of my Titan boys. Uh, things are getting a little bit out of hand. I focus on the economy, maybe a little bit too much. That Mutoil 2.0 is firing down the conveyor belt. Please murder him. How much range do I have? Oh, I can't see. Oh, it's all the way over here. No, he's definitely gonna die. He's gonna die. Murder. I will go to the mutant's funeral. He doesn't deserve to die alone. Like I did. Yo. I'm hopeless. What kind of crap was that? Yo. Either way, it's wave 25. And right now, I only have my hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man placed down. Obviously, that's not enough we're gonna need more slowing down units if we want to have any chance of freezing the level 50 boss so obviously we already have the green laser cameraman down he is already fully maxed out and all of my santa tvs here are also fully maxed as well so next up i am going to do the sinister titan tv man the sinister titan tv man is a little bit cheaper overall than that of the upgraded titan speaker man our upgraded Titan Cinema Man. So that is why I'm going to place down the Sinister Titan TV Man first. See, I'm already only two levels away from getting him fully maxed out. Right after that, I will get the UTTV hopefully all the way to max before wave 50 starts. And the Hyper as well. Then it'll essentially be the trifecta trio of bros. The Sinister, the Hyper, and the upgraded Titan Speaker Man. This is just an elite team nonetheless. All right, we got the dual flying buzzsaw toilet coming down. We're already ready for the wave 30 boss. How does a level three hyper upgrade Titan speaker man, a level six sinister Titan TV man, and a green laser cameraman do compared to a flying dual buzzsaw toilet? Oh, do you guys see that? That unit got completely stunned for a second. Oh, wait, or was he stunning the Santa? He might have been stunning the Santa. Yeah, that might, I think that's what it was. It doesn't matter. Our sinister now is fully maxed. So he now can ching, ching, ching. He can now ching his scythe onto the toilets. 
So thank goodness I was worried that we weren't going to be able to have a lot of DPS early. We still need to upgrade our hyper upgrade type Superman to max so he can have that epic damage. But right now, since the Sinister or the upgraded Titan T Cinema Man has so much range, he's going to go down next. He has the most stun protection, so we are going to put him the closest to the track here. I hope this doesn't absolutely wreck him. I hope he's far enough out of the way where it doesn't matter. All right, so guys, it's wave 36. With this team right now, of all these handsome, beautiful Titan boys, do you think it's going to be enough to freeze? Smooth operator. Because that is the goal by the end of the day. We want to completely immobilize a unit. Because if I don't, I'm going to have to live stream blocks fruits against my own will. That's what you guys wanted. Can you guys kill the welder, please? Quit going bug to bug. Get him off. Get him off, kill him, please! I hate when the welders go butt to butt. It's not even fair. It's like hacking. Oh, he's dead. Oh my god. I was, I was really worried. I didn't, I didn't think he was gonna kill him. No! The rocket toilet's butt to butt. Why are so many things stuck together? The airplane toilet was butt to butt too. How does that even make sense? I don't even understand. Either way, it's almost way 40, and we almost have our upgraded Titan Cinema Man, Cinema Man to level eight, which is his max level so we're looking pretty good and bada beep bada boop bow i got the hyper upgraded titan speaker man so why do i keep saying speaker man it's not a speaker man it's obviously a stupid freaking tv on his face the hyper upgraded titan cinema man why not he's not hyper either oh my god the upgraded titan cinema man how are they doing against the glitch oh they froze it they froze it wait wait, wait they did it did you guys see that i i think i froze the glitch did it happen i did it no way! I did it! I didn't think I could actually do it with this composition, but it happened. It looked like it was almost completely frosted and glazed over where it couldn't move. No freaking way, dude. I don't believe that. Since we have the absolute elite team of Trifecta Boys, I might as well let it run out till the end and see if they can uh, stun or freeze slash immobilize that of the smooth operator. Anyways, I actually did it. Dude, you guys need to like and subscribe for that right now. This unit team and build actually managed to freeze slash stun a boss toilet. I can't believe it. Not only was it a boss toilet, it was a glitch toilet. And the glitch toilet is literally the fastest of them all. That would be embarrassing if you guys died right now. Don't do it. Don't allow yourself to be smart. And bop! All right, perfect. Once again, we are in a good spot. We have a hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man fully maxed out, an upgraded Titan Cinema Man fully maxed out, a Sinister Titan TV Man fully maxed out. They don't do the most DPS in the world, but they do the most stunning. I placed myself down another hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man right now. And we're just going to see if we can make it past wave 50. And not auto skip wave 50. We're going to see if we can actually beat wave 50. So turn off auto skip. We don't need any of those extra units coming in from 51. Let's see if this team is strong enough to murder. I mean, defeat the toilets. Yeah, look. It gets frosted, and then it actually gets completely stunned. It's it's not just me. It's real. Guys, keep working hard, men. If Whenever I lose, why do I swear it's like always from the laser scientist toilet? It should have been me. It should have been me. Please don't kill me, mom. Yeah, one boss murders. That's insane. Does the healer do enough where... I could actually live from that? I don't even know. Either way, without further ado, today's video was a success. We were able to completely freeze one of the boss toilets in endless mode. To be completely honest with you, I wasn't expecting to be able to do it, let alone against an actual boss toilet. That was awesome, and I'm so glad I was able to take you guys with me. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe so once again so we get to 50k subscribers by the end of the month. And Make sure you guys check out all my other videos on the channel and check out my second channel if you haven't already where I post other Roblox related content. All right, guys, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. In approximately 17 seconds, the Easter update's gonna come out and I'm gonna get the rarest unit. Check this out. Uh, bye, Titan Clover. You were fun for about a week. Here we go. We got the Mech Buddy Titan, the Bunny Crete, and we got Easter Mode. Ooh, what's Easter Mode? Whoa, look at how the mech looks, dude. Oh my gosh, that's insane. And it looks like we have an event pass. Did anyone expect that we were going to get an event pass for this update? I had no idea. As you can see right here, we have the bunny crate, which is just the, the Santa crate. They made it. Okay, it's just the Santa crate. Okay, good to know, I guess. 
and it looks like you can have a 0.2% chance of summoning the new mech, the mech bunny titan. Oh my gosh, okay. Is there any rare units on the event pass that we should pay attention to? Yes, we got the dual blade bunny man right there, and who's going to be at the end? The titan bunny cameraman, okay. Yay, I love spending money on Robux. And obviously, you can get eggs by completing these missions. So, of course, since we collected that many eggs from buying them, we're going to accept it immediately. I got myself five bunny crates. These things cost me an arm and a leg. Please just give me something good. I'm begging you, please. And we got the Easter speaker man. That's the rare or the least rare one. Yeah, it makes the most sense. Come on, please just give me one of the rare boys. That's all I'm asking for. Please. No, not another Easter. I already have an Easter speaker man. I don't need any more. No, not another one. Stop. Oh, please. I spent so much money. Please give me. No, 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 no. Stop. Get out of my head. Yes. Okay, we got the large bunny man. Thank goodness. It's not one of the rarest ones, but at least it's something different. We're going to open up another bunny crate. What's it going to be? And he's I have enough for one more egg. Come on. These are so expensive. Please just give me something good. No. Well, either way, we have the Easter speaker man in our team. And we also have the large bunny man. So let's go ahead and... Up. And see if we can beat it with these new units. Is the large bunny man and the Easter speaker man strong enough to beat Egg Island? Let's go find out. Up, up. Yo, look at this graphic. This is so sick. This is an interesting map layout. I like it a lot. Dude, this house looks so freaking sweet. Ooh, Karen, don't mind if I do. All right, let's figure out where our best place to put down our green laser cameraman will be. Dude, I just realized something. The lucky cameraman is going to be absolutely broken on this map. You can just place the lucky right down here, and he could be able to shoot all the way towards the front. No way. Oh, wait, no, but the units right there are going to get in his way. Dang it, I don't know anymore now. All right, well, let's build up enough money so we can uh, place the Easter speaker man and we can place the large bunny man. All right, we got the Easter man speaker. Hello? We have the Easter speaker man placed down right here and boys hunched over with a knife. Why is he being a creeper? This is what I assume Jack the Ripper looks like and he just fell asleep. Okay. It looks like he does a cute little AOE spread and he maxes out a DPS of 3000. I think this is this unit is almost identical to that of the turkey speaker man. Hey, I'm not complaining. That's a pretty strong unit. And the large bunny man is probably going to do a very similar thing. I also just realized I didn't bring a strong unit with me. The strongest unit I have is the red laser cameraman. So I actually am going to have to rely on using the large bunny man to solo the new map. Oh, large bunny, I know you can do it. The question that everyone wants to get answered. Are you going to get a free Easter crate once you beat this map? Also, we went ahead and finally placed down our large bunny boy. We have him right here and he looks interesting to say the least i don't know how to feel about his concept design i mean he's a super strong unit and he's spewing eggs outside of his shoulder blades imagine if i could shoot eggs out of my shoulder blades would that make me cool oh my god he are, he's already maxed out he, he maxed out insanely fast what on earth that is super cheap 2,000 and then 4,000 and then he maxes out. So what is that? 6,600 to fully max out the large bunny man? That's gonna be like the most economically friendly unit in the entire game. I actually don't believe that. All right, check this out. So I'm gonna upgrade it right there. And yep, that's it. He only costs 6,600 to fully max out and have a range of 35 and do a DPS of 7,000. That's so insane. Also, does anyone know how a knife doing AOE makes any sense? How is he able to do that? I don't understand. Also, at wave 20 so far, our large bunny boy has been doing just fine. No complaints from the large bunny boys. Do you guys think if their little bunny ears on his shoulders flapped hard enough, he would fly away? Aren't you fly away with me? Look at how fast we're able to do 400,000 damage on a toilet. This isn't even close. This is definitely our first legitimate test. A couple giant blind toilets... Oh, no, they are getting absolutely steamrolled. There's no questions about that at all. The large bunny boy has got this in the bag. It just depends how well we're able to take out a million HP units when they come out of the conveyor belt later on. Let's find out. And I know no one was asking, but I'm going to answer it for you anyways. The large bunny man does actually have some stun protection. They're able to block the stuns 
from most toilets pretty easily or i think they can like absorb one or two stuns and then that's it also i almost have a fully maxed out build of the large bunny boys right now we are going to sell the search speaker man not because he's bad but because we just have better things we can place and the great thing about the bunny man is i only have my santa tv men to level five you don't really need to get your santa tv men much higher than that and we've now sold all of our Santa TV men, and we now have two Green Laser Cameramen and 13 Bunny Boys. Can the Bunny Boys kill them all? But what I'm wondering is, is there a little Easter egg on this map? Obviously, there's a bunch of Easter eggs literally everywhere on the map right now. But what I want to know is, there's any secrets? Knock, knock, knock. Can you let me inside? How would you let me out? I just got stuck. It also seems like there's a weird timer on this game. I destroyed wave 35 really fast, but wave 35 took like a year and a half to spawn. Ooh, I got a waterfall that I can take a bath in. Do you hear my bones rattling? I'm excited to see the new boss. I think he's going to come out on this map. So I'm hoping we're able to take out the boss with his own units. I'm hoping the large bunny man is able to do it if we're not able to. Obviously, I can't. I can't attack the toilets. They don't like skeletons. Dude, I think it's so goofy when the mutant assassin toilets come running off the track to come hit your units like bro stay on the track man what are you doing you're not supposed to do that that's not how the game works also it looks like we're actually going to handle a bunch of 700,000 hp toilets pretty easily who would have thought the bunny man would be so good look at how many eggs are in my face dude why is there so many eggs all right it's wave 47 and i haven't had to consider turning off auto skip yet we do have some pretty big HP toilets coming in, so maybe I will just so we can make sure we get our victory. We're looking good to go. We only have a couple hundred thousand toilets down here left. It's on to wave 48, and it looks like the Bunny Boys have got this in the freaking bag. Ooh, wave 49. We're almost at the new boss. I'm feeling AIDS in the air. Did someone find a chicken? A bunch of UFOs, dude. What a troll. They just want you to lose with these things. The biggest pain in the rear ever, UFOs. And let's go ahead and skip and wait to see the new boss. Can my bunny men take you down? We have a million kajillion jetpack mutant toilets. But I'm waiting to see your creator. Who created you? Wait, does this not end at wave 50? Oh my gosh, guys, this doesn't end at wave 50. We got trolled. How far does this go? You guys are probably as shocked as I am. Wave 51? What the heck? Maybe I should have brought some different units. This is insane. Uh-oh, looks like wave 54 is giving our bunny boys some trouble, but it looks like we're gonna get by just okay. And we squeaked it, and now we have a full wave of glitches. When is it gonna end? No, I lost. The bunny boys could only make it to wave 55, and I only got 165 eggs for it. No. I will totally claim all of these tiers, though. Thank you very much. Claim. Oh, I need to destroy a thousand more toilets. I also need to win Easter mode. Okay, fair enough. All right, well. Oh, uh, Bob! In honor of this being my 100th win, I am going to put on easy mode. I think this is the most respectable and responsible thing. Look at my inventory to be killing easy mode. This is insane. So now that I am doing my 100th win, and you guys are now, well, you already fully watched a crazy, insanely long video. I figure now is a good time to talk about my appreciation and everything that I have uh, that I've been able to experience and learn. So I've started my first Roblox YouTube channel for Hopeless about six months ago, a little bit less. I made Hopeless 1 around this time six months ago, and it didn't really do that well. Uh, I'm posting there again. I took about a four month hiatus, but yeah, I took a long break from that and it didn't do too well. But then my friend Bemi Blocks, who I think you guys might have heard of, really convinced me to try to do Roblox YouTube in the first place. Hopeless One and this account are truly inspired by him. I owe him a lot. Um, so thank you once again, Bemi. I don't think you know how much I appreciate it. But there's definitely been a lot of ups and downs for me through my 100 wins playing Toy Tower Defense. A lot of highs last month and so far a lot of lows this month. But I guess that is just a part of the YouTube experience. And I'm still learning. I'm developing my skills. And ultimately, I don't think there's anything else I'd rather be doing. I mean, this economy does suck though, man. It's hard to make it's hard to get by. But comment down below if you guys would like to watch like 
some live streams maybe for example like the lt crazy streams i wouldn't set them up exactly like that but doing something like that on this channel i think would be really really cool uh getting you guys like my community involved together more in my life and what i do maybe even a face reveal that might be a little bit too crazy though i don't know but i've had a lot of fun doing ttd but there's it's also been a lot of stress i mean none of you guys know the behind the scenes nor do i expect you ever to and i know we are kind of having a bit of a heart to heart right now and you really don't see this side of youtubers very often and the reason why i'm so open and vulnerable about talking about this is because this video is probably three hours long so i know not that many people are going to be seeing this anyways so if you are listening to this right now consider your ears blessed because you're definitely one of the few I feel like I should have had some more iconic units in my inventory for my 100th win. Like, what are just some of the most iconic hopeless units in TTD? Probably the Hyper, my most famous video. Probably the Speaker Repair Drone, my second most famous video. Probably the Cinnabon TV, because I hate him, and it'd be funny. Probably the Pumpkin Farmer or the Santa TV Man. I think me and the Pumpkin Farmer had a bit of a thing going on. Not in a weird way. We were just kind of homies. But it's been a long journey. And I appreciate any single one of you that have been here for a long time. It honestly means the world to me that some of you guys would consider yourself hopeless fans. And something that you guys might not know about me at all is that this isn't the first time I've done YouTube in general. I've had actually numerous YouTube channels in the past. This is just one of them. This has been my most successful one though so far. I do continue to plan to make content forever on in the future. And I don't plan on stopping on Hopeless anytime soon. But for people that have also gotten to this point in the video, comment down below. If TTD and Skibbity Toilet eventually fizzles out, which it might by the end of 2024, what do you guys think is next? What do you guys think takes over for Skibbity Skibbity Toilet? Also, we were absolutely mowing down in easy mode. This is way too easy. Well, I guess it is easy mode, and I am using nothing but mythic units and exclusive units. Hey, shut up. It doesn't, hey, it doesn't matter. Well, I think we need to overkill easy mode a little bit more. Yeah, let me put down a UTC. <laughs> bro but yeah it's definitely not my normal style of video but we're just reminiscing essentially i see no reason why not to all right gamers we are getting close to that time it's wave 18 we have almost beat 100 maps on toy tower defense this is gonna be me beating toy tower defense one hundred times i don't know how i feel about this does is this like basically me becoming an adult am i becoming an adult right now will i not be a skeleton anymore will i finally break the mask of the skeleton form and become a human once again the boss is going to be coming out soon and he's gonna get cooked by a utc that's crazy dude imagine being a boss on easy mode and seeing uh upgraded titan cinema man skewer you in the face it's not even fair and here it is we got ourselves the 38,000 boss toilet and he's just dead i get one clover for that 100 coins but most importantly my 100th win. All right, guys, are you ready? The first reveal of the big 100. Woo! There it is. I have now won 100 times in Toy Tower Defense. If you made it this far in this video, I just want to let you know. I love and appreciate you guys so much. And you guys supporting me means the world to me. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video today as well check out all the other videos on the screen if you haven't already you guys have done a lot for me and i really do appreciate it have a good rest of your day guys thank you for supporting me let's get to 50k